afternoon, getting back to the scrolls. Yay! Getting up lunch in terms of the hell. <laughs> Can you hear me? Um, right. I would do not. There we go, that's what I wanted. Testing, testing. Okay, let's do that again. So, getting back in the scrolls, good morning. Almost afternoon. Finish up my lunch. Hopefully I don't have to redo the first well. Um, I'm probably not going to stream later tonight because I'll be doing some travelling. If I get home early enough, I'll do it, but there's no guarantees. Um, well, we're streaming until about fall. Yourself. 
Okay. Oh, another puzzle of you guys. Hold oh, on, I did this one yesterday, didn't I? Maybe this is the second one. set. Yeah, I totally did this one yesterday.
got something to play. Maybe there's a second button. Then no. the wrong one.
だよな、これ、ね。He's me. Oh. Get around it, but I can't actually see it. Last of these trials. Come on, the 
mask should be just ahead. That's a statue of Jadari, isn't it? Let's see if there's an inscription. You have both ventured far and come so close, but only one may claim the mask of Alkosh. You who heard the clan mother's dying words, go now and claim that which you earned. Was that Chidari? Well, you're right. The shield. Frost is going to let me leave without checking.
friend. You look like you've been to oblivion and back. What matter of trial did you face? By my honor, that's good to hear. With Rakish and Slain and the mask in our possession, we're much closer to victory. And it's all because of your efforts. Here, take this. Another interesting item I found in the Sanctum's vaults. With his dragon priest defeated and his plans foiled, Lotvalon is more vulnerable than ever before. We can't let this opportunity pass us by. The time has come to put an end to this Order of the New Moon. Sep Scales. Why would he challenge Lotvalon on his own? This is no time for anger. I may not agree with Nephilar's actions, but we need to defeat the cult. We must find our dragon ally. Journey to Senchal and speak with General Remnus. I don't expect him to join us in our fight, but he may have reports concerning Nephilar and Latvalon's battle. No need to travel to Senshaw, Dragon Guard. General Remus. I owe all of you an apology. I thought I acted for the good of Senshaw. There is blood on my hands. You don't your say. Choice, the shields of Senshaw will fight alongside the Dragon Guard. We've always been on the same side. I'm glad you finally realized that. You can thank my daughter for all this. She can be quite persuasive when she wants to be. Yes, those particular dragons aren't very subtle. There's been an abundance of sightings. The latest reports indicate they were heading north of Senshal, in the company of a great deal of cultists and several dragons. Not yet. I have a contingent of soldiers stationed at the West Century Tower, just northwest of Senshal. They can let you know the current location of your fighting dragons. I'll work with Captain Sai Sahan to formulate a plan of attack. We'll march north of Senshaw as soon as... To be honest, I've been mulling over this alliance since you first entered my office. But I was certain that if I left Senshaw defenseless, it would fall to ruin, just like Cyrodiil. When I left Cyrodiil all those years ago, the unimaginable happened. My emperor was killed, and Daedra attacked, and I wasn't there to defend my home. That knowledge changed me. I couldn't let something similar happen to Senshal. We face the darkness of fear to find the light of courage. That's something my wife often said, and something Aelia just recently reminded me. I can't let fear dictate my actions, and so I will join with you. Mm. Tactical information, supplies, soldiers. Now that we're in this fight, you'll find the shields of Senshal an invaluable ally. I haven't left Senshal completely defenseless. Besides, if we don't defeat Latbulan now, there won't be a city. A cruel race, these dragons. They would rather rule over ashes than allow us to remain free. Braver, unfortunately, because the hint was too close to the bloody thing. Can 
I'd need this anymore, but apparently I still do. I can't believe it. We actually fought a living, breathing dragon. It's not breathing anymore. Nathala was lucky we made it here so fast. He was surrounded by at least five other dragons, but they scattered after we took this one down. Zaji <laughs> grounded it himself. I say I'm proud of him, but it was probably sheer luck. I'm not sure. He fights with the fury of a wounded sench, but that could simply be his way. Still, despite his confidence, not even Nephilar can stand against such numbers for long. Nephilar and his enemies flew out of sight, but the tower may offer a better vantage point. Zaji is up there now. Perhaps he saw where they went. Alright, just give me a second. Did you see the corpse walker? A dragon! Zaji! Killed an actual dragon! Ah! Oh, the moon singers will tell tales of our adventures for generations to come! Zaji, the dragon slayer! Not since he flew by. To be honest, things weren't looking good for our scaly friend. An entire rage of dragons chased after him. Zaji doesn't think Latvulan is interested in a fair fight. Zaji lost sight of them. They're fast and loud. And this one can't help but wins every time they shout. Is that really just him? Wait, looks like they're coming back around. Like they're headed straight to Doomstone Keep. Huh. What could they want I know a hunt when I see one walk. Find Nafalar before they overwhelm him. Pretty urgent phone call.
change of plans. I'm not going to be traveling much tonight. Might be a little bit, but it won't be as much. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh well, that was my fault for stopping in a bad spot. Darling who saved Rose and Vaughn, aren't you? Quite the hero. I can't get that sweet spot. It's either slightly too high or slightly too low. I can't get that sweet spot on the printer. It's so frustrating. I have to hope that because it's slightly too high, I mean slightly too low, as the springs uncoil a little, little, it'll hit that sweet spot. We have no way to take the keep. As long as the... Damn that dragon's pride. If Nethala had only broken off and regrouped with us, it seems we have no choice but to rescue the beast. Are you with me? At least allow us. General Renmus will lead a secondary team to keep the cultist occupied. That should give us time to search for Nethala. By Leckie's blade, I just hope he's still alive. It would be hard-pressed to take this keep without him. The cult is gathering around Latvalon, most likely to empower him using their Aeon Stones. Yet another advantage they have over our forces. This is it, my friend. Our chance to prove ourselves. To prove that the Dragon Guard still protects the people of this world. You scout ahead and find a way. Okay. Have no fear. Saji, the Dragon Slayer has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. I mean, I'm proud of him, but Jesus, dude, you gotta rub it in. Stay sharp. Don't know what might lurk in these caverns. That looks like Nathalar down below. Mm. Let's see if we can Doesn't find look a way good. to get to him. Doesn't look good at all. Hold a moment. There's some kind of message written on that tablet. Right. A rather roundabout way, it seems like this tablet is telling us how to move forward. Talking about Alduin. It seems there's more to Doomstone Keep than first meets the eye. The inscription says to create light with a divine mask, which I can only assume refers to the mask of Alkosh. 
Did the pride of Alkash occupy this keep? Yes, the Black Beast. One of the Dragon Guard's greatest foes. A dragon of mighty power. Which would indicate that this inscription was written by the Dragon Guard. But what were they doing here? We're getting ahead of ourselves. There. Let's see if the mask responds to that brazier. That must be the Black Beast facing off against the Dragon God. Looks like a Kashiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps she was a member of the Pride of Alkosh. Could have been their leader. That's um oh what's her name? Jahari or whatever her name is. Sweet branch of the dragon god. Kajiti warrior from before. She claimed the mask of Alkosh just as you did. Wait, could she possibly be Jadari? Yep, I think you're correct. Because that's just what I said. Let me check something first. Real quick. That's Nathalar. Jadari is offering him the Mask of Alkosh, but he's refusing her. It seems to symbolize something, though I'm not sure what. I thought they were all working together. Understand now. The black beast is Lutvalon. Okay. The dragon god said it be out of win. Though it cost Jadari her life. And Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. Yep. 
he couldn't help for some reason. Jadari joined the Dragon Guard to take down a fearsome dragon. The pride of Elkosh called him the Demon from the East, while the Dragon Guard named him the Black Beast. But his true name is Lotvalon. Where is Alduin coming to all this? Uh, it seems like Lotvalon serves someone else. Precisely. She must have needed the mask's power to defeat Lotvalon. Yeah, think someone else is Alduin. Another ally as well, Nathalar. He gave them his own horn to use against Lotvalon, but he also refused Jadari something. And then the final battle. Jadari fell. But the Dragon Guard was still able to trap Lotvalon. For centuries he was sealed away beneath this very keep. Until he escaped, that is. Which leads us to today's battle. What I'm interested in is how Jadari was able to use the Mask of Alkosh against Lotvalon. Though I suspect Nathalar may have some insight on that as well. We should continue our search. They're still breathing. Oh, don't tell me they trapped him. Jadari. Ah, oh, no. It is you, Hunter. Deshu. Ah, oh, time blurs. It is the same as before. I can feel Lot Vulan's icy malice permeating this chamber. So this was his prison, was it? Ah, and now he has assured that it will be my grave. Yes, I gave her my horn, but it was not enough. And so she asked me to empower the Mask of Alkash, so that we could slay Lord Vulan and end his terror. I needed a dragonborn. Uh, I refused. Lord Vulan was sealed away, but not before Jadari fell in battle. It takes two wills to awaken the Mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the mask's power. The other must be one of my kind, a dragon. Fenjunti, the will of my father, the dragon king of time. All dove seek dominion. And so it is a king's command that is our bane. I will not turn away from you as I did Jadari. I will join with you and empower the mask. You are a worthy. Apologies never did suit you, Nafalar. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rakajin. It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know. To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain. Sapping all its warmth. And so, it fell on your shoulders to walk this path instead. Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulan, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. You must succeed where Jadari failed. You must banish the demon unto eternity. As Alkash wills.
Latvulan is the torment of chaos. A shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for a, the elder moon, a new moon filled with darkness. Ah, oh, that's Alduin. Of time shall unravel. Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You seem willing. Can you say the same of Nafala? Of course, Mask Bearer. It is not a place, but a story that has been and will be told time and time again. We are within the tapestry, and without it, wrapped up tightly in its threads, even as we desperately try to untangle them. Alkosh is he who weaves the tapestry, and also he who is the threads. They unspool from the tip of his tail. When the thread ends, there will be nothing. We are all woven into his tapestry, Walker. We are always within the realm of time. Perhaps that is why Alkosh entrusted the Khajiit with his secrets, no? You compare the sands of the hourglass to the moments which pass through time. Can they truly be the same? But then, are they truly so different? It is one answer only the Dragon King knows. Perhaps not in a way so easily understood. Just know that the Dragon King guides you now, just as he guided you then. But it is you who must walk the path he lays before you. Never forget that. Jadari was born under eclipsed moons, yet was destined to never become Nain. And as she listened to the moons, they sang to her. The darkness of Lorcaj had stained her soul, the bruising purple of spilled wine. Soon, all she could hear was... But Kenarthi carried Jadari not above to the stars, but into the darkness that had settled in this one's heart. Jadar you walked the halls of the High Main, have you not? You proved yourself worthy. ...and were gifted the Mask of Alkosh. Jadari was gifted the Mask of Alkosh... ...and told to protect it. You must raise the Mask. Go before him, Dragon Guard. It should only take a few words. Do you remember Dragon King Abar. Strength is now one, Akatus. Let us finish. We can reach the surface this way. Let's move out. I was hoping they'd make me a Dovahkin, but apparently not. Enforcement for Lot for Lot. Stop the cult from calling. 
fuck is that? Come, my brothers and sisters, lend me your aid. to that guy. We have the horn? You're gonna fucking bloody shout. This is gonna take a while if I'm on my own. Just so I saw him.
Yeah, you probably should have, but it's a bit late now. Oh, uh, that's just your opinion, mate. Not for a while. God. Lord Bulan is slain. Now I shall ensure that nothing remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon. That will be all right. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lord Bulan's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plague this land until the day that plague ends. For all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. You're going to absorb the soul. Otherwise, it'll come back.
I'm gonna my shot. from stealing temple heirlooms. Uh, you'll never let that one go, will you? <laughs> Zaji knew we could do it. There was never a doubt in his mind. After all, we are the Dragon God, right? The scourge of dragons far and wide. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> Zaji will admit there was one or two moments of doubt, but they passed by very quickly. He hardly noticed them at all. You know, Walker, uh, forget it. Uh -huh. At the danger of sounding boorish, Zaji just wanted to thank you for all that you've done. When this one left Black Heights, it was to seek adventure and glory. And so he bought a fine vessel and assembled a gallant crew. However, However, adventure and glory is a bit hard to seek out. It's not often you come upon signposts asking for mighty heroes to save the kingdom. Well, maybe you do. It seems like you have that sort of luck. <laughs> the point is that Sai Sahan was right to doubt Zachi and his crew. We were smugglers, not heroes. Ruffians trying to make enough gold to get by. And then you came along and asked us to take you here, to this island. And now the Moon Singers will tell stories of us for generations to come. So, thanks for giving Zaji a chance to become the hero he always knew he could be. And for letting us come along with you on this unbelievable adventure. You're gonna make me cry. There, hero. Have time for a chat. We did it. Senshal is finally safe from Lothalon and the Order of the New Moon. There are other dragons to contend with, of course, but we'll defeat those too, won't we? Just like the Dragon Guard of Legend. I've actually been thinking a lot about that. Our order. I honestly wonder if it will last. Maybe Zaji <laughs> and Koska will get well, aboard no and idea. seek out another adventure. Maybe another threat will call Sai Sahan away. No. It lasts a while. Transformed into the blades. That makes me sad. I've come to think of the Dragon Guard as a family of sorts. And I fear that if the order disbanded, if there was no longer a reason to fight, I would lose that. I know, I know. There's no shortage of work. I'm just being silly is all. But then, there's also this feeling that our battle isn't truly over. Which is an even scarier thought, isn't it? What is the new moon that the cult worshipped? How did Lothulon plan to rule over Tamriel? They're just questions that keep bouncing around in my head. It might be nothing. But I'm just not sure this is- Hey. You can... Run your life kind of find out. Excellent fighting out there, Dragon God. Of course, your work isn't done. 
There remain plenty of dragons for your order to slay. But I swear to you, from here on, that the shields of Senshaw will aid you however we can. We'll continue to protect Senshaw and its citizens, of course. Try our best to keep order. But I do have plans beyond that. One day, the shields of Senshaw will protect all of Pelotine. No more hiding behind city walls. As much as I would like to keep my daughter by my side, I don't think that would be wise. She's grown so much during her time with the Dragon Guard. Her place is here. I couldn't be prouder of the woman she has become. Oh. Time to earn your keep, Dragon Guard. Aska. Congratulations on the win, Mask Bearer. Just do not brag about it, yes? I get enough of that from Zaji. Not dead, which is better than I expected. It all worked out though, didn't it? Aelia protected Senchal, Zaji became a hero, Saisahan ended a grave threat to Tamriel, and you got to be the mighty hero at the center of it all. I'm a simple Senshrat walker. There was an enemy, and I killed it. What greater satisfaction is there? My only regret was not killing Latvalan sooner. Many of my people died because of him and his cult. And all for their own protection. They were too afraid to fight the dragons that terrorized their land, and so they joined with forces that they did not understand. And many suffered because of that. I won't forget that. But there's still dragons in elsewhere. Cruel, terrible dragons who want nothing more than to kill and destroy and conquer. And I won't let them. As the moons are my witness, I will hunt them all down. Every last one! <laughs> Just the warrior I wanted to speak to. Hey, mate. At long last, we defeated the Black Beast. Today, we finished a battle the Dragon Guard began centuries ago. A fitting start to our own order, I must say. Brooding as usual, Nephilim may have pulled through as our ally, but he's still not one for socializing with mere mortals. He did say he wished to speak to you when you returned. If the subject comes up, let Nephilar know that he's welcome to recover in our sanctum. He's our ally, and the Dragon Guard takes care of its own. Far more confident of our Dragon Guard, I must admit. When we first formed our order, all I saw was a ragtag band of smugglers, ill-experienced and naive in the ways of battle. Ah, yes, young Aelia. How could I forget? But now I look around me and I see soldiers, tried and true. Warriors who are willing to lay down their lives to protect elsewhere. And if that's not in the spirit of the Dragon Guard, I don't know what is. Captain? Yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? It's been a long time since I last held that rank. I failed to uphold my duty then. I allowed my emperor to die, and watched as our empire fell into the clutches of Daedra. And now I have another chance to make things right. Not in the empire, perhaps, 
But here in a land that has a great need for a dragon guard to watch over it. And I expect your help as well, my friend. As always. Excellent battle, Akatus. Your might helped seal Lot Vulan's fate. He... Indeed, and our foes seem to thwart us at every turn. Lot Vulan killed Yagrandu before he could join our alliance, and his corpse was turned against us. Though it was no easy task to do so, the halls of the High Main presents challenges that few dare to face. Yet you conquered them all, and proved worthy of al Kash's divine power. A feat few mortals can claim. <laughs> you have certainly proved yourself worthy of the Mask of al -Kash. Just do not expect it to ensure all your victories. Its power... Not yet. We defeated Lot Vulan, but I sense another power lurking in elsewhere. Something dark that threatens to disrupt my father's order. When the time comes for you to face it. Ah, the Dragon Guard arrives. My friend, you arrived just in Abner Thorn. <laughs> According to his letter, you and he worked together. He thinks very highly of you. I'd ask how you accomplished <laughs> such a feat, but there isn't time. He didn't elaborate on either topic. He just mentioned a threat to Southern elsewhere. Between Thorn's cryptic letter and Nathalar's strange mood. I appreciate you dealing with Nathalar. The dragon senses my unease over Thorn's letter only makes his own anxiety more pronounced. Meanwhile, I need to keep myself from thrashing the old battle mage the moment <laughs> I see him. Abner Thorn is conceited, opinionated, condescending, and a pain in my arse. And those are his good qualities. <laughs> All that said, I have the utmost respect right. for the battle mage. When danger appears, we could do worse than that. He paces, he grumbles, refuses to speak except in riddles, and he's only gotten word. His letter indicated a threat to Southern Elsewhere. But I'm beginning to sense that. I told him about Nathalar and the Dragon Guard. And while he still punctuates every sentence with an instant. an old night. I don't realize he's not as good as he used to be. We need to rely on people. Wrong way. <sighs> the bearded one speaks as though I am not perched within striking distance and can hear every syllable he utters. I might find his hubris amusing in a different light, but the light that remains fades as a riddle to those hindered by limited perspectives, a profound truth to one such as I. Something ancient and powerful assaults my... My feeling is my own. It grew from a tickle behind my broken horn when the fool of a battle mage opened the halls of Colossus. Now it swirls like a black storm around me. <sighs> a portal? Here? See what you can make of it. How do you stand it? My head pounds like an orc drum. You get used to it, and that was your best one yet. Abner Thorn, you arrogant, vexatious. He's got an apprentice. Save your posturing, Sai. I missed you too, but we have a bigger problem to deal with. 
Hey, how are you going? Five claw. My head spins from the effort that took. Cadwell made it look so easy. By the moons, though, my heart sings at the sight of you, my... I did. Cadwell acquired power over portals after attuning at the Shadow Dance Temple. Tarn suggested I might have the same ability, and he has been helping. Lord Garishri has my kingdom well in hand. We continue to clean up the mess left by the Usurper Queen, and there are still stray dragons to deal with. So Tarn has told me. He has been exchanging letters with Sai Sahan for some time. Do not expect me to turn my back on the creature. I traveled to Southern Elsewhere not just to finish this business. The Elsewhere Confederacy. An alliance between Anequina and Pelatine. The various political upheavals and the Nahatan flu have left the Confederacy in shambles. Marching down from Rimen, I suppose. Tarn was in a hurry, so he had me practice my portal making. Five Claw, you just want to hear tales of your exploits. That Euraxia, the usurper queen, Tarn's half sister, orchestrated the release of the dragon. We killed the dragon Mulamnir and flung. I see that my instructions were followed to the letter. The champion of Aquina, Sai Sahan, and the dragon Nathala together in the same place, and I have brought Chimera. We have much to discuss. It concerns Calgrontid. Calgrontid absorbed a good deal of the core's power before we stopped him. I hoped he was lost in the void after we dislodged him, but like us, he made his way back to Tamriel. Mm -hmm. I've been hunting for him ever since. Not just that. I pieced together his ultimate plan. Calgrontid boasted he would become the equal of Akatosh. And your dealings with Lodvalon and the cult of the New Moon suggest they were preparing for an ascension. Mm -hmm. Isn't it obvious? Calgrontid plans to become a god. There's an island off the coast, Dragonhold. In the Kunzari legends, it was the dragon's seat of power. I can't open a portal to it. I can't even scry it. It's protected by potent magic. You face the cult of the new moon? The cultists revere Calgrontid. They must have a method for getting to and from the island. I assume their base at the new moon fortress holds the answers we seek. Strange green stone. Does that sound like what you're looking for, Tharn? Indeed. Since I read about it in your reports, I've wanted to examine it. Chimera, can you...? No more portals, Tharn. Not right now. I have duties other than conveying you around, you know. Oh, very well. Sai, let's talk. We'll meet our friend at the fortress. You bastard. It's 
close up here. Don't you know that interruptions at nap time cause mange of the fur? You mean other than the cultists that were trying their damnedest to disembowel us? Wait a moment. You're going back there. What in the two moons could possibly warrant the... Huh. Now that you mention it, I did hear a few of those nutters mentioning sending the green stone to an island. And they were certainly sacrificing something on that altar in the amphitheater. I am not a mage. I wouldn't know a portal from a hole in the ground. But that's where they were gathering the green uh, Aeon Stone, I think they called it. If they have a way to move the stone, it might... May the moons protect you on your mission. If you need... I heard Aelia say something about meeting with the Queen of Enequina, which I take to be some sort of euphemism. As for the cat... No, that's not a euphemism. That's... Probably actually what she's doing. If you insist. I expected the new moon cultists to disperse after the death of Latfulan. I suppose Kalgrantid has other ideas. We need to determine how the cultists reach the dragon's protected island. But according to Tharn, the cult operates both here and on the island. They must have a way to get from here to there. The stockpile of Aeon Stone and this amphitheater are as good a place to start our search as any. That entrance has most likely been sealed in response to what you and she accomplished here. A structure as ancient as this must have other entrances, though. Let's find one and make our way to the amphitheater. Tharn will be fine. He just needs to catch his breath. Which means I get a few blissful moments without listening to it. The fortress... We need to find another way in. Let's follow the river. found a way inside. And without my help, good. Back on your feet, old man? 
Let me know if you need a litter. A jest. I find it hard to tell through all that facial hair. Now focus. We'll need your fighting skills inside. <clears throat> Popped equipment in quite a while. You never cease to surprise me, Sai. What now, old man? In the past, I considered you nothing more than Varen's muscle, but here you are, leading a new generation of dragons. Just compliment, I can compliment. some people adapt to change. That sounded like a compliment. Wisdom from an empty well here in the belly of our enemy. Let's stick to the matter at hand, shall we? Just closed. Tharn, can you open it? Perhaps, but not by myself. Champion, let's talk. I know Sai was hoping for a confrontation, but I doubt we could have survived an encounter with Calgrontid. He looked even more powerful than when we saw him at Jode's core. Now, about that portal. This array of stones forms the portal's focal point. That's Aeon Stone, mined from sites throughout southern elsewhere. I did a little research after receiving Sai's report. We ne Aeon Stone has no intrinsic power. It amplifies whatever energy it absorbs. That's the key to activating the portal. As I said, I did some research. Approach each Aeon Stone and I'll siphon a little of your vitality into them. That should provide the energy I... You think so? My knowledge is infinitesimal and it irks me. The stone exists only in southern elsewhere. It absorbs and amplifies energy using a process I can utilize but don't fully understand. You take great pleasure in forcing me to admit to gaps in my knowledge. Point taken. Calgrontid absorbed a significant amount of energy from Jode's core. With all the stone he had the cultists sent to the island, I assume its unique properties factor into his plan. Stones hum with energy. That should allow me to open the portal to Dragonhold. This is harder than I thought. It's open. Our way to the island. Sigh.
It appears that the portal deposited us inside an ancient structure. I assume we're somewhere beneath the island of Dragonhold. The architecture reminds me of both the Halls of Colossus and the Barrows of... Sc That's an approximate translation of the Ta'agra text, from the secret histories of the Moonsingers. Calgr Some sort of powerful magic isolates this island, an Aegis. We need to find the source of the Aegis and... Everything I learned about Calgron... An Aegis is a defensive spell. That supposition was simply an educated guess. But yes, I believe that by channeling the energy from Jode's core through this strange... Dragon Hold. So, like, the fortress from, um... Skyrim? Hmm. I don't like the way this island is shaking. From the sky. Oh, no, crap. Probably visit the town after this. Do some crafting stuff. That tapestry. Give me a moment to study it. Sure. You gonna study it or what? Late. There I know back again. Hopefully it all reset. Nice. That worked. 
Obviously of Khajiiti origin. Old. Maybe as ancient as these ruins. Perhaps older. I think this depicts one of the forbidden legends. Oh, I can think of any number of reasons for a culture to declare a myth or legend forbidden. Though most involve topics too disruptive or dangerous to discuss openly. This particular tale deals with the rise of the new moon. Indeed, anything that hints at changing the status quo poses a danger to those in charge. See the number of moons? The Khajiit acknowledge multiple moons, but they rarely depict any besides Joan and Jode. The third moon is larger than both of them. The figures at the bottom. Those must represent the new moon cultists. And see the Aeon Stone, emanating energy that gives rise to the third moon? Yes, I'm certain. This depicts the legend of the Dark Aeon. I came across another one of the secret moon singer myths during my research. It predicts the coming of a powerful new moon, the Dark Aeon. I think Calgrontid seeks to make this ancient prognostication a reality. Now, Let's find the Aegis. According to the legend, this new moon presages a time of darkness and the birth of a new supreme being. Calgrontid seeks to make the prophecy come true. Damn it. I won't have my legacy tarnished by a mad dragon I inadvertently released. Ah, the confidence of youth. Very well then. Let's get on with it. We still need to find the source of the magic that's protecting this island. Gargoyle. Is there three moons in blue? No, I can't even understand this. Oh, that was crazy.
be cool if I could count, but I can't. Ah, gonna oil. Stand back. Let me try. No, oh, what are you doing, mate? I may regret this later, but I'm going to borrow some of this energy. Let's return to the central chamber and get our bearings. Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna regret that. <laughs> that shit's gonna fuck you up, I reckon. You're right, mate. That drove it off. Now to find the source. So much for feeling like my old self again. <laughs> it took every iota of energy I absorbed from the Aeon Stone, and all I accomplished was to wound the dragon and drive it off. And now I'm as used up and worthless as an empty water skin. The injured dragon. There's nothing more dangerous, but also totally predictable. It will head to a secure location to mend its wounds. What could be more secure than the source of Dragonhold's defenses? Your observational skills never cease to amaze me. The energy gave me a boost, but it also wreaked havoc with my body. The mortal vessel was never meant to contain such power. Now that it's gone, I'm nearly spent. I'm not sure we stopped the ritual in time. There's a disturbance in the air. Something's about to happen. Come on. Let's find the source of the island's defenses while we still can. The humans and Khajiit could. Where do the dragons find these demented Khajiit?
Mm -hmm. Feeling bad, I was probably getting attacked by these guys from behind. Feeling weak. This tapestry continues the legend of the Dark Aeon. I suppose it would be more accurate to call it. Because the cultists don't believe what we see here happened in the past. They believe the Dark Aeon will arise in the future. The very near future, if Calgrontid has his way. I think the land at the bottom represents this island, Dragonhold. See the vast amounts of Aeon stone, including the spire at the center? Its energy feeds into the new moon as it rises into the night sky. That's the Dark Aeon. The new moon, the new god that Calgrontid plans to ascend to. We need to hurry and find the wounded dragon. The tremors grow worse with every passing moment, and I fear we're running out of time. We kill it, though I'm hardly fit for another battle. Even so, I doubt we'll be able to deal with the Aegis while the dragon still lives. Jesus. If I can hear you, if I can shout.
Nice.
may have dealt with the island's defenses, but whatever Calgrontid is doing is getting stronger. Dragon's bones, we're up in the sky! These ruins won't stand much more of this. We need to get out of here. A dead end. There's no choice. I'll open a portal to the mainland. Hurry! It will take the last of my remaining strength to hold this portal. Find Chimera and Sysa. Prepare the Dragon Guard to attack. I'll be ready when you return. He's gonna be dead, isn't he? Over here. I told you I sensed Tarn's magic. And where is it? The sacred sons of Hakuda. Up in the sky. How did the dragon's island get into the sky? And where is Tarn? Five Claw, the prophecy of the dark Aeon and the new moon. I should have seen it sooner. Then we must return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and rally our forces. Even if Tarn managed to overcome the island's defenses, reaching an island in the sky could pull. I do not want to imagine Tarn alone on that island. We must gather our forces and get back to him quickly, Five Claw. That is more of a question for Sai Saham. But ready or not, Tarn's magic. It has a specific scent. Since he... Queen Chimera speaks true. We must return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and gather up. Oh, I forgot she's a queen. <laughs> I completely forgot about that.
I just realized my hater is off. dragons from attending him on dragon hold hey ah there goes our ride what do we do now how are we going to get to dragon hold i could try to open a portal but without tarn's guidance i do not even know how to begin the dragon has no sense of propriety <laughs> flying off without so much as a buy or leave without him a thorn we need to devise our own method for reaching Dragonhold. And we'll find that way. Somehow. For now, rest. Prepare yourself. And take this for your efforts. Remember, you confirmed Kalgrantid's plan and removed Dragonhold's protection. I refuse to be stymied by a hovering land mass. The floating island could be part of Kalgrantid's plan. But it could also mean he wanted privacy for his final push toward ascension. Either way, we need to find a way to get up there. I considered that option, but without a mage of Abner Tharn's abilities and experience, we have no... As far as I know, this is the first time the Dragon Guard has faced this particular obstacle. We need to find a way to get up to that island, and we need to do so quickly. Talk to Queen Chimera. There must be a way to reach Dragonhold. Find a pig wolf. I wish the pig was full size. Old day pig, that old day. I think a riot is the least of our worries, don't you? The city is on edge.
Fast. <laughs> didn't even realize I did it. My past experiences with I like one for this table.
I'm gonna visit the bank. You wouldn't... Bringing us something. Nice. Like, this is more important. Eventually, when I don't have ESA Plus, I want to store crafting materials in the bank. appear before my eyes my friend I seek a path for us the path I walked through the shadow dance temple attuned me to the moons and to the memories of my ancestor and neck when a sharp tongue they were so clear when I needed them in northern elsewhere now nothing not even I do not think so those ancient edifices connect only to specific locations I do not think one of those would be on Kalgrontid's island. Now that you are here, 
There is something else I would like to try. Watch over me while I try to access Anequina's memories. She helped Kunzari defeat Kelgrontid in the past. Perhaps her insights will help us today, yes? Maybe she will speak to me, maybe not. If nothing else, I have to try. Reveal your memories to me. The answer you seek resides in the cavern of the moon's sacred light. <gasps> that was intense. Anikuna did not so much as show me her memories. She spoke through me. And her words, Five Claw, they were directed at you. I am as surprised as you are, my friend. But the message I received was clear. You must go to the Moonlit Cove. That is the cavern of the moon's sacred light. I am certain. The answer to our problem waits for you there. No, not this time. I want to search the memories and see if Anequina has more to tell us about Kalgrontid and her adventures with Kunzari. I will confer with Sai Sahan, then have him meet you at the Moonlit Cove. Ghost Cat? Like the spirits that accompanied us through the Shadow Dance Temple? Strange. I did not see this spirit. Are you certain of what you saw? Then I believe you, my friend. And the vision just confirms my conviction that an Equina's message was meant for you. Now, go to Moonlit Cove and find the answer we seek. Right back, I'm gonna turn the heater on. I did get a rubbish bin just for my um printing off parts like yum all the extra support material and stuff. Curious, how big is the bank space?
this is almost the face. Right, I got to pee. That old bank space must be like 500 or 600. Wow, that's active like a double more bank space, right. Done all of the bank space. Kamira recalled one last thing before I left her side. It took her a moment to understand what the vision was showing her, but she shared that a door, an ancient door, hidden behind a waterfall, somewhere to the southwest, she thinks. But we're not alone here. The place is crawling with pirates. Be on your guard. said a door hidden behind a waterfall I'd say placing an ancient corridor and its matching door behind a waterfall counts as him not so fast my eager associate see that tablet on the wall not with that aura of magic that surrounds it I'll wait
almost there. Who is this one, though? Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go downstairs get us something sweet to eat. I sleep to eat sometimes. are in here. I'll be back.
เมนอนทิดก่อนทั้งคี้ whoever that was Quick now.
you successful, my friend. I fear without the restored tablet, we won't open this door. Yep. The fragments fit together, but what does it say? And those words are true, the stone's only part of. Kunzari's name, the aura disappeared. Try the door now. This really be the tomb of Kunzari? The safe? Sarcophagus. The ghost of the You see it too, my friend? Yep. Thought we would meet much sooner, dearest friend. Anequina always was too clever with her connotations, yes? Still, you are here now, and we have some small span of time. Do not make Zar blush, dear friend. Legendary certainly fits, illustrious even. But mythic, that's a little much, yes? This one is who you say. Apologies. It was much more grand when Zar's tales were widely told. As for why Zar has awakened, well, how could this one sleep with all the noise the dragons make? <laughs> Calgrantid and his brood always were too rambunctious, yes? Oh no, dear friend. Zar's tales have all been told. As this one explained to Jadari long ago, it is time to sing the song of a new hero. Zar can lend you a bit of his experience, however. You do not expect Zar to draw you a map, do you? Where is the fun in that? No, the tale must be relished, the adventure experienced. That is the way of momentous events. Take my claw and present it to the scion of Inequina. Just mind the skull. The brave and beautiful Kajiti Queen. Anequina's blood courses through her sleek and fragrant form. Give her Zar's claw. She will know what to do with it when she sees it. A rib, a femur, but a claw is least cumbersome. Do not look so surprised. The remains of a Kajiti legend hold great power. Power the sign of an Equina can use to walk the Joan Light path. Clever. You made Zar say more than he meant to. <laughs> well done. Thanks for the tip, mate. Take Zar's claw to the Inequina of this age. She can use it to get your Krajun to Dragonhold. Now, accept this final deal. A quick path back to your Krajun. That is where this story truly begins. Thanks, mate. All this way for the remains of a legend. Into the bay. Really? I think the ghost cat did that on purpose. <laughs> Bring the claw to Queen Chimera while I rally the dragon. I hope that contentious old maid is all right. I go. Did you and Slice Hunt find the hidden door? I know. Tell me, my friend, what did you find? Truly, five claw? Bright moons. What? His claw? And this will... It is a claw. That is definite. I will study it. Search an Equina's memories. It... The Joan Light Path? Hmm. 
I have never... Not yet. If this Calgrantide actually exists, how can either the Shields or the Dragon God hope to stand against it? Just trust us, Father. I swear we won't let you down. General Renless and the Shields will protect Sencha. If we can't assault Dragonhold, we'll direct our efforts to supporting the Shields. As Queen Chimera solved our transportation issue, the Dragon Guard is eager to enroll. Despite our past differences, the General did come through when we needed him. I extended an invitation and he decided. General Renless wishes us success in our mission, but he won't leave Sensual undefended. It falls to the Dragon. Byclaw, I think I know what to do with Kun Nice. Claw. Five Claw, I think I understand. I can draw upon the power of... That is the part I have not fully worked out yet. But in Anequina's memories, I saw a place between places full of moonlight and stars. No, Five Claw. Without Tarn to guide me, I do not want to risk all of our eggs in this particular basket. The Dragon Guard will remain in reserve. Let them defend Senshal. Then, if we fail, you are Five Claw. You and Sai Sahan. Let's go! Dragon Guard, defend Senshal until you hear from us. Five Claw, Sai, with me. Enter the portal. Let's go. Cool. Welcome, dear friends, to the John Light Path, where heroes such as we can climb the liminal forces that bind each hero every day. You are the Kunzari. <laughs> well, let's go. Between the stars, dear friends, Zar will feel terrible if any of you fall. Nice stars. This place it goes on forever. So many islands, but no way to reach them. The end is near. Dear friends, you can almost smell Calgrantid's stench from here. Oh, I got there. The spot where the liminal of here touches the liminal of there. Yes, Zar. Ah, damn it. I was supposed to talk to him. Oh, hello. What began in Anequina ends in the sky over Pelotine. I sense power, a vast supply, building like a storm. I have a guess. Nafalar tells us that there are focal points, Aeon stones placed at key locations around the island. 
If Abner Tharn was with us. Mask bearer, don the mask of Alkash and fill it with the energy of the creatures of Dark Aeon. It will protect you and the others from my fire. Good to know. Our efforts have displeased Count Granti. Good. Charge me up, fam. Yeah. 
Ooh, knockout style, which I'm pretty sure I have already. Could they be part of the complex you explored with Tharn? Yeah. If Tharn still lives, he could have taken refuge inside. We'll find him, Queen Kamira. I've seen Tharn survive worse things than a floating island. Moons help him. But I suspect Tarn has more to worry about than the floating island. Indeed. Hey, yeah, I'm getting there. There was any three, which is good. Ah. That was the last of the focal points. Now to deal with Calgronti. As you say. Here's goes nothing. Is that Tarn? Uh oh. Let me guess he's been passed. How typical. I had a feeling that you were behind the disruption of the other focal points. Figured I'd help. Ever the voice of support and tact. To safely absorb all that energy, Calgronti needed the focal points. As close as he is to his ascension, safety will be the furthest thing from his mind. If he if Calgronti tries to ascend without the focal points, he could unleash all that pent up in. You worry more than a Norse nursemaid. To the center of the island. It's time. I ran, dodged falling bricks and leapt over collapsing floors, made my way to the surface, only to find we were a league or more in the sky. I did what any proper battle mage would do. I hid. As you can see, of course he did. If we survive this, you can explain that. Are you up to this, old man? Don't concern yourself about me. Just remember, Cal Grontide is perched atop a gigantic shard of Aeon Stone that pulses with enough power to destroy the continent. Concentrate on the task at hand. Hey, let's get a 
Oh, so it's changed. That door, Calgronti, it is through there. Before we enter. I'll cast spheres of protection upon the grapple points when Calgronti prepares to shout.
That damn dragon. No, my friend. This task requires a dragon. And we have accomplished amazing things. But this... I prepared for a moment such as this. I insist that you trust me. I will do what I can, mage. Get them out of here. Come on, let's get... Good job. Good job, Camera. Finally awake, I see. Come, stand with me, Five Claw. Karn was a better teacher than I gave him credit for. When I needed to do it, I was able to open a portal. The island, it exploded, but the blast spread. I know. I know. I did not like the man, but Sai went back to the Dragon Guard Sanctum to check on the others. As for Nafalar, I do not know. He was on Dragonhold helping Tarn. We can only hope. My words, they are not enough, yes? You have done so much. All of this makes one think about the past. I lost my family. I lost a good friend. Hope. No matter what we faced, no matter the... Just one problem at a time.
Wait, I need a waste room. But now that I'm in town. General talking. The Dragon Guard and the Queen of Rimen destroyed the Sky Island. The Dragon Guard? Again? Mate, there's plenty of water. Oh, wait, it's too far. What do you mean? Oh, because, um, the old games like Skyrim and stuff, and, um, Oblivion and Morrowind, I would always play first person, so I just, I'm used to it. See you up and walking about. 
You were dead to the world after we escaped Dragonhold. We did it, my friend. And Tamriel owes you a great debt. You and Abner Tharn both. Damn that old wizard for playing the hero. He contained a blast that should have turned elsewhere into ash and cinders. But did he have... Whatever it is, we'll be ready for it. For now, though, I owe you a debt as well. Without your help, the Dragon Guard would never have been reborn. We... We did it, my friend. We reformed the Dragon Guard and put an end to Kalgrantid. Not bad if I do say so, my... He returned shortly after we did, but he's been acting strangely. Upstairs, and talk to Nafalar. See if he can shed any light on what happened. Zaji's words, not mine. When we saw the island begin to break apart, it was all I could do to stop Zaji and Koska from leaping into the pounce and sailing off <laughs> to fish you out of the sea. Can you imagine trying to navigate while parts of the... The thought... You know, I've been thinking... Maybe I'm not actually cut out for the Dragon Guard. I did? I mean... I did, didn't I? And I took command of our forces down here while you and Sai were up there. You always know what to say, don't you? You know, I really do like being a part of all this. No, that was just a slight moment of doubt. But you've set me straight, and I take my calling very seriously. I go wherever the Dragon Guard needs me. I will make time to return to Senchal and visit with my father. Next time there is a dragon, Zachi does not want to be left behind. I don't recall you jumping forward to challenge La Poulan. Now, now, Ilya. The captain always maintains a tactical distance. <laughs> tactical distance, right. Zaji is nothing if not prudent. This dragon guard, it's good, but it needs work. Luckily, <laughs> size The work, the mission. We may have taken out the dragon clan mothers, so to speak, but there are still a lot of lesser dragons to deal with. For that, the for as long as they'll have me, me and Captain Zaji both. Truth be told, the bearded one handles himself well in battle. I think I could... Nice. This one is sorry he missed all the action on Dragonhold. Zaji expects to be part of the... The smuggling? The piracy? The drinking? Oh, this one has dropped them like a hot sweet cake. <laughs> well, except for the drinking. Zaji always wanted to be a hero, but Dragon Guard, it gives Zaji a chance to do something important with his life. Something good. But we should be celebrating, not examining decisions that brought us to this point. At least not while we're sober. Zaji still thinks a celebration is in order. Perhaps this one will mention it to the Lady Queen from Anequina. She must have enough gold to throw a proper party. There are still dragons to deal with, and the Dragon Guard will need more ships, a whole fleet of them. Then, Captain Zaji. Hmm. Bearer. I look around my home and see so much activity. The, the Battle Mage wanted to contain the energy of the Aeon Stones, to keep the release from destroying anything beyond the crumbling ice. I do not know. The Battle Mage was weak, exhausted, but he refused to give up. He wanted to save you. Save you. 
All I can tell you is what Calgrantid believed. He believed that with enough power, he could become a new moon in the sky, a new god to challenge. Glad that a creature as magnificent as Calgrantid had to be destroyed? No, Mask Bearer. I am disappointed. Wherever my wings will take me, Mask Bearer, I must bide my time and wait for the next event. We may meet again, Mask Bearer. The world is not so very large, and do not worry about the mask. Like me, it will bide its time until it is again needed. Tell the Dragon Guard they have my respect. I heard the wings. Nephilar has left us? Probably for the best, all things considered. Were you able to get him to tell you what happened on... Uh, Tharn's a tough old goat. If there was a way to survive, he'd find it. I just... I, I don't think there was. Oh, she was being rather cryptic, but I think she wants to throw a celebration. Honor the Dragon Guard and all that. Beforehand, however, she wants to talk. Queen Chimera impressed me, my friend. It isn't every ruler who readily puts themselves in harm's way for the sake of their people. Tamriel could use a dozen more like her. She certainly did. We'll follow along shortly. In order to make a good impression, the Dragon Guard needs to be ready. I'll instruct Saji and Kaska on proper etiquette and protocol. <laughs> Hopefully... <laughs> I don't think any will stick. Those Montclair traders ambushed the guard at Hinald Farm. I heard a stranger happened along and saved them all. Um, doing 3D printing. Got this little guy, which is a needle blight, printing off um, minis for D and D. Right, just adjusting the camera. And I've got a third one in the printing, which is almost done. Fourth, actually, I think that's number four. And then I'm going to print off a bit more wine blight. I'm going to do some wear rats. How can we protect you, my queen, if you continue to leave us behind? <laughs> I am <laughs> they just arrived. Titan, Zamarak. My duty will always take precedence. Well, look who it is. My spies informed me you were in the area, but I wasn't sure our paths would cross. There's still work to be done to repair the damage caused by Euraxia. And the Queen is very generous when it comes to compensation. When Zamorak needed... Oh, nothing like what we faced back in Northern Elsewhere. But then again, we... This one thanks the moons that you and Queen Kamira both appear safe and well. Zamorak's tail turned grey <laughs> when he realized he had lost his... We arrived a short time ago. After Queen Kamira abandoned us, we had a long march down from the north. Zamara could have worried everything and more, my friend. Everything and more. In the time that Zamarak has served, Queen Kamira has proved <laughs> Hello. What an amazing coincidence meeting you here like this. How are you, my cherished friend? I haven't seen you since we I really find myself where I expect to be, either one of the great mysteries of life, I dare say. My portals usually holding an apple, a drumless fee, not an apple, I'm not sure what it is, it looks like a piece of fruit or a rock, and some sort of egg. A little bit of this and a little bit of that, mostly the latter, uh, not so much of the former. 
I handled a few tasks for Queen Chimera, visited with Abner Tharn, even dispatched a dragon or two, the smallest ones, nothing too impressive. So good of you to remember. The scamps have been working day and night to finish the place. Soon it will be a perfect getaway. Ah, Five Claw, you arrive in the nick of time. While I deal with my royal protectors, I have an. I need you to represent me before the Imperial General Renmus. He knows of my goal to restore the Elsewhere Confederacy and rejoin Anequina and Pelatine. Given their service, very much so. Fair enough. I can at least I'm going to use a spectrum enough to go consider it. How can I get any work done with these constant interruptions? Please chill, dude. It's just me. Ah, it's you. I understand we have you to thank for stopping the dragon and getting rid of So, Anequina seeks to come to the rescue of Pelatine? <laughs> We've been doing quite well on our own, I'll have you know. Well, who am I kidding? The shields have been getting by on luck and tenacity. And then the dragon. My soldiers and I, we swore an oath to the Empire. If we forsake that oath and take up with Rimmon's queen, what does that say about our commitment and loyalty? You make an excellent point. The Empire no longer exists, but Senshal continues to need us. It would be dishonorable to turn away from our duty. Very well. For Senshal and its people, I will... Father, excuse the interruption, but the ceremony is about to begin. Perfect timing. And Alia, I've accepted Queen Chimera's offer. We... Told you to go easy on the plum brandy. Five Claw, come here, please. My dearest friend, you must take your place alongside the rest of the what drops. The <laughs> I don't even honestly, I don't know what drops are. Of those I wish to honor are accounted for. Pomp and circumstance are a necessary component of every ceremony. The masses demand it. Besides, I want to honor the Dragon Guard's accomplishments, yours included. Take this reward and smile, Five Claw. We are about to begin. People of Senchal, let us recognize the efforts of the Dragon Guard. They saved elsewhere from the rage of dragons. First, let us bow our heads and remember Abnarton, who gave his life to save Tambriel. Second, it brings me great joy to mark the return of Sai Sahan and the Dragon Guard. May you always watch over us all. The honor is ours. And finally, join me in honoring my friend and champion who ended the threat of Calgronti once and for all. Three cheers for Five Claw! Three cheers for the Dragon Guard! Three beers? No, Zadia said enough. Thank you. Oh, oh God. Dragons take me. I wish I could eat. Hey! Fuck, I'm done with this area. In terms of the main quest, at least. I've got all the high quests I picked up, plus all the, um.
Even with Lot Bulan killed, there's still plenty of dragons in southern elsewhere. We um we come up. My question then the points of interest if was any left. For the next section of DLC. Ah! Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. I think it will explain to me exactly what drops are. <laughs> Why the, the hell is the photo? By the wrong waypoint. Vijari comes to thee. Vijari, Vijari cannot flee. The darkness is seeping through this, this grotesque mural. Adara, I cannot hold. We must break the temple. It is too loud for this one's song. Walker. Vijari is not a lost cat yet, but Adara High must begin the exorcism. She'll take him home. Meet her there. She will need you. I 
can hardly believe it. Zaji, Prince of the Vagabond. Loi Kajid, Vakail, Kajeluz does not. Taz Johi Choka, Shabar Azoluz. We arrived not a moment too soon, Walker. Vijari is losing his struggle with the bed dance. The dark grips him like none other she has seen. Her songs hold them back, but she cannot exercise their darkness with prayer alone. Adarahai needs help. That profane mural isn't the source of Namira's corruption. It is the cracks the darkness seeps through. Something reaches out from it for Vijari, and this one can't break its hold without knowing more about its nature. Take the Cantor's tonic on the table by my bag. It will open your mind and allow you to see into the twilight between the darkness and the light. You'll see what clings to Vijari and follow its residuum to other things it has touched in the Mundus. What you see will be much like a paw print on glass, a stain left on the things it has touched. Find them, and the tonic will allow you to see the impressions it left behind. Adara Hai must remain with Vijari. Without her holy incantations, the darkness will overtake him. She'll hold out as long as she can, but her singing can't go on forever. Learn everything. Simply drink it, like any other potion. Get up. She can't, Radhi. She has no strength left. Takradi will carry you. He will carry you to the sands behind the stars himself if he has to. Just do not leave him yet. If it were her choice... <laughs> this one will get you water. Radhi... Vijari... Only a moment more. Vijari, come help your mother. She... She loves... Duhada! Interesting. Oh, Vijari... This one can't see your precious... Thank you. Kaishka knows she will lose her Vajari soon. His father? He's been dead for years. Vajari's sickness sometimes leaves him confused. He has awoken from fevered dreams, calling for those no longer with us. When he said the wall was calling to him, this one thought he meant his time was short. I think I hit the sweet spot with this 3D print. There's another one. This one never met Dagradi, but Vijari said his father hardly left his side until departing for the Wall of Life. It must have been hard to leave his six son behind. Poor Vijari had no one to care for him before Kaishka was smitten by his charms. Kaishka needed to hear that, Rook. She feared she was being selfish, sitting here while you and Adara High risk your lives against the Great Darkness. This one will be here, if you need her. Be right back, I just want to double check, I've printed off four of these things. Got four of them. Oh, I need a 
other one. There we go. Vijari, my wake up. Vijari, are you all right? Don't tell Mama Vijari was playing in the fountain again. <laughs> oh no, Kinarti. No, 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 not again. Father? What? What's the matter? Shh, shh. It's all right, Vijari. Papa is here. You fainted, but you're all right now. Did he know something? He's our only boy. If you must take someone, take me. She doesn't want you. Who's there? She never wanted you. Shut up. Or your wretched wife. Shut up. Or your wretched son. She's forsaken you, but I haven't. There's a place in the dark for all you cast off forgotten souls. You... you will save me, Jarima? No, lonely creature. You will. Hmm. It's late, Vijari. You need to rest. This one will be finished soon. You said that last night. Tonight, Dakradi will rest. He promises. Good night, father. Good night, son. Papa will not be gone forever. Doc Roddy brought what you asked. Pour it all into your art. Blood of a flightless bird. Too terrible and ugly for Kanadi Sky. And a terrible? Blue is the sky. Numbing dreams are as close as you'll come. I'm not sure. Of her fallen children. Torn down by her own wind and claws. Come, my lost cat. Paint your mark for me and we'll dance on Kanarthi's graves. Hmm.
Agnieszka. Adarahai must speak with our friend. Oh, thank you. Thank you for bringing him back. This one hopes you bear good news, Walker. Adarahai has managed to wrestle Vijari back from the brink. But the force that tugs at him through the mural will not let go. She does not know how much longer she can hold it back. His father. This one had hoped it was only Vijari's condition playing tricks on him. It makes Adara High want to spit fur. First, Bakrari abandons his sick cub. Now he returns to drag Vijari to the darkness with him. He is truly a bent cat. There is nothing more dangerous than a bent cat who doesn't know he is twisted. If Dakrari's sole desire is his son, that is a connection too strong for me to break. Our only hope is to seal the crack in the wall of life. What else did you learn? Paint for her vile mural, no doubt. Adara High is beginning to see how the wall of life became so defiled. There is hope, Walker. How a curse is made is also how it may be undone. Did you see what he used for his offering to the Great Darkness? What you describe are more reagents for a ritual than pigments for paint. Adarahai needs you to decipher what Dakradi used for his mixture and gather those same ingredients. Bring them to the Colorworks and she will make offerings of her own. She is sorry that she is not more help in that regard. This is no ritual she has heard of before. Adara High is certain the ingredients have symbolic value. But beyond that, she can only guess their meaning. Make sure the flight spreads a terror bird. Kaishka said Dakradi never ventured far from Vijari after his wife died. So all this one can be sure of is that the ingredients must be things that he could have gathered nearby. The moons praise you for what you did at Moon Mount
box. Can can Zara do nothing? Should not be out of bed, Mama. Vijari will stay inside. Shh, Vijari. It's all right. Just sit with this one a while. Did you find Dakradi's ingredients, Walker? If she could leave him to his rest, she would. Just as Dakradi poured all his hate and anguish into his work to defile the wall of life. So must Vijari paint with love and peace to restore it. All we can do is help him on his journey. This one will sing her prayers to Azura to lend him her power. So his every brushstroke shines a ray of light through the great darkness. My sister is the light of his life that will guide his path. You, Walker, must be his sword. Azura, be your shield. Make your way to the Wall of Life and clear a safe path. Khajiit will follow once Vijari's paint is rightly consecrated. Strike the Kinarthic bell to signal it is safe. Bend your finger. Vijari, it is time, love. I can hardly believe it. Zaji, Prince of the Vagabond, taking the next run. Shadow. We will brighten it again. We've arrived, Walker. This is where the battle for Vijari's soul will be fought. Do not doubt for a moment that Bagradi will not give him up without a fight. That Adara Hai did not doubt. 
You've silenced the drums for now, but it will not last. We must buy time for Vijari to work. While he... the Wall of Life was just the beginning of the journey to the sands behind the stars. Beyond it is a path up through the mountain, where the dying would rise into Kanarthi's arms. Adara High fears that it delivers the dying in to banish him with claw and... Do you need help? Vijari will manage. is being swallowed by the great darkness. Close your ears to people's heart and focus on Adarahai's voice. The Krati feels you near. Come to him. Come be free of this world. Another bell. Just ahead.
you. We will never be separated again. Vijari doesn't fear thy father. He fears what you've become. Dark Rabi can lose you too. He won't. Vijari won't follow where you want him to go. No. Vijari, ma. Vijari. Don't leave Dark Rabi. Don't leave him alone. Go. Strike the bell. She will hold her. Make certain the wall of life was cleansed. Nice. Kaisha? Are they here? Yeah. Are you really here, Jal? Vijari cannot trust his senses any longer. He is glad. Vijari is the only one meant to leave the world today. Did he finish, Walker? This one's eyes are still in shadow. He cannot see the wall. Thank Kanarthi. He feared the darkness swallowed him before he could. He heard his father calling him. He had to go. To see him. There was a great crack of a bell. Twisted as it is. Vijari knows there is love in his father's heart. This one prays the divines will show mercy. And wrench it right way someday. Kaishka? She is here. You have carried Vijari this far. Please, do not bear the weight after he is gone. She will not let you go a moment sooner. Are we outside? Mother? Oh, Vijari feels it breathe. Um. Vijari flies with Kenarthi now. Dad. He was a good young man. My sister chose well. Vijari had a spotless soul walker, and he passed without regrets. This one believes Kenarthi heard the bells, even if he was not the one to ring them. Adarahai doesn't think the divines are so fickle as to leave a deserving soul behind. There are few more deserving to walk the sands behind the stars, though you might count among them. Take this, with all our gratitude. This one hopes we cross paths in happier times. Now that the Wall of Life is cleansed, many more souls can continue on their journey with Kenarthi. This one will resume her own journey as well. As the Great Darkness recedes here, it creeps out elsewhere, seeking... Adara High will stay with her a while. Supporting her through this loss was why this one came in the first place. Hijari was her world. Now that he is gone, Adara Hai does not know what her sister will do. Vijari left her a home here. Adara Hai would hope she made a life here during their time together, but this one was out of touch, so what does she know? Whatever Kaishka decides to do, Adara High will support her.
This one will return to her temple and share what she has learned with the Twilight Campers there. These Canarthic bells are a powerful force against the heart of Lorcaj. Adara High hopes something smaller could be made for Cantors to carry. She cannot say. Adara High doubts a smaller bell will drown out the bent dance as well as those placed here. But any force fighting against the Great Darkness is a good one. Living and dead are not words that apply to bent cats. They are part of the Great Darkness. As he could, Walker.
All your limbs. Good, good. What did you find in the wreckage? Please tell Daini you found. Ah, shattered bottles and ruined silks would not earn us a berth on a dinghy, let alone a seafaring vessel. And now Antonia goes to sell our pelts to Toro. Krah! Daini will think of something. She has to. A short, snouted arsonist with a heart as black as those scorched trees. He controls all of Southgard. He... It does not matter. Daini has a shelter south of here. My brother is there. Can you check on him? Daini will follow soon. Of course, Walker. Daini owes you a few answers at least. A friend. Well, Daini uses that word loosely. An acquaintance, really. She fixed herself to me like a barnacle some years back, eating much but providing little, you see? When I resolved to leave Southgard, she insisted on coming along. Now she sells us out to save her own hide. Typical. In her heart, Daini always knew Antonia would get cold paws and call off before long. This one just hoped the little skiver would do it quietly. Oh yes, Antonia lies often, but never about something like this. She is a survivor, always has been, like a Reminite Ali Roach, for now anyway. Mara, help her. Turo does not respond well to bad news. The people who deliver it, more often than not, it is the last message they ever deliver. He will come for us soon after. We must move quicker. He is not worth talking about. Daini hates him, and will continue to hate him until the day she dies. All you need to know is that he is both evil and wealthy. This one will take that wealth away from him. Daini has nothing else to say on this subject. Can't wait much longer, Sapi. If Daini doesn't come back soon. Ah, don't get your beard in a twist, Stormund. She will be back any minute. Trust Sapi. Here, have some soup while you wait. You love soup, right? Everyone loves soup. Ah, oh, greetings, Walker. Apologies, but have we met before? Yes, this one is Safik. Daini sent you, eh? If she sent you to check on me, we must be in danger. Let this one guess. 
She tried to rob Turo and made a mess of it. Hold on, be right back. I might get another phone call in a sec, so I have to pick that up. But we'll see. Tiny, why can you not just... <sighs> Safik's sister is wise and prudent in all things except this business with Toro. You must oh. understand. He hurt us deeply. She refuses to let it go, even as we try to escape this place. Is she coming soon? Speak, Galanet. Ah, there you are. And Sormund remains? Good. Not for much longer, Tiny. I leave with the tide, with or without you. You found the place? And Safik is well? Good. Let this one guess. Sormund blusters like a Palmar squall. Pay him no mind. He is like a harbor, but yes. But no teeth. Now we have work to do. <laughs> All back, no mind. If you still need to help. Safik. Daini loves him dearly. But he lacks a thief's edge. He sees mortal risk in loose cobblestones and other rusty nails. We needn't worry. This one found a new target. Turo owns a warehouse to the east, packed with trade goods and treasures. Who else should Daini rob? Turo owns South Guard. Safik told you this was personal, didn't he? Mons. I will say it one last time. Daini does not care about Turo. She wants his treasures, nothing more. Now, are you in? Many guards patrol Turo's warehouse, Walker. Make sure you are ready, yes? It oh. belonged to Daini's father, before Turo. This one's father said old moon priests used to conduct rituals in there, back before all the old temples started falling down. Some folk think turning an old temple into a warehouse is blasphemy. One of them plain, one to go. It never bothered Papa. He said storing goods in a sacred place kept the ghosts out. Daini does not know why ghosts would try to get into boxes of Sugar King. Just silly, you know? Papa used to say silly things like that all the time. More than Sugar King, I can tell you that. This place might have kept the ghosts out, but they will not thwart us, Walker. We will take what's ours. Hey. What are you up to now, Daini? What you ask, Sormoon. Don't worry. You'll have your goods soon enough. Oh shit. Keep a sharp eye, mate. Tiny is here. Quick, let us discuss strategy. This is Toro's warehouse, such as it is. Formerly my father's warehouse. Coming back, it brings me no joy. I used to play here, 
darting between the crates, hiding in barrels. Then Papa died. Ironic that we robbed his grave, yes? Yes, burned alive. Fires raged across South Guard at the time to deal with the flu, yes? Turo used this. He and his thugs pushed their competitors, Khajiit like my father, into this warehouse and set it ablaze to yes. make it look like an accident. Terrible. Yes, but this is in the past. Daini must see to the present. Turo marks his personal goods with a crude seal to ward off idiots who might be tempted to scheme off the top. Search the marked crates and we should find something valuable. Let us keep looking, yes? Early jewelry somewhere. Mm -hmm. Books? Daini doubts Turo even knows how to read. Hmm. No rare titles. Lead them. I need good work. Check them, Walker. I thought I heard someone approaching. There we go. Someone is coming. Hide quickly. So, Daini and her dog tailed brother tried to steal from me, eh? Truly, I should have burned those two with their father. Easily remedied, though. Thank you, Antonia. Oh, you're welcome, Turo. Anything for you. Of course, you did work with her, so... You see my dilemma. Business is business, Antonia. You understand, I'm sure. What? No, no, no! Blessed Mara, we're out of time. He's going to kill Safik. We have to get back, now! Oh, well, we got jewels at least. In. He holds Safik prisoner in his fortress and will kill him if she refuses. Farah's heart, we were so close. Stupid, reckless. This is all Daini's fault. No, no, it is Turo's fault. It isn't. It isn't. This one just needs. He murdered my father, burned him like kindling wood, and now he steals my friend. Daini will make him pay. She will rake his eyes out and feed what remains to the dogs. She will... No. No. This has gone on long enough. Safik is all that matters. Daini will turn herself in to keep Turo distracted. 
while he gloats and blusters, you must find and free the others. Start at his harbor safe house. It lies south of here, along the coast. Meet me in his fortress as soon as you can. Moons guide you. Kind's backside. Die. It'll take a lot more than this to knock the wind out of Sorman's sails. No, but I can guess. Toro may act the part, but he's not a romantic. He's an opportunist. He won't kill those scallywags. If... <sighs> Off with you. Oh, I'll get the boat ready to leave. Meet me there when you find them. Walker, thank the moons. You will never believe what horrible things these slavers said they will do to poor Malabu. You are a true friend, Walker. A true friend. Now, you will help this one escape, yes? She cursed and spat like a wild beast. This one told her to stop, but she would not listen. They took her to Turo's slave ship, southeast of here, through the cave. The ship only stays in port a short while. You must hurry. But first, let me out. A thousand things! But no Diney. She all right? If Ray's bones, if that Skeever Toro did anything to her, so help me. Get me out of here and we'll find her together. Bah. Nobody ever lets me help. Fine, fine. But if anything happens to Diney or Safik, there's no power in Tamriel that'll keep Toro safe from me. Mark me!
Get out of here. Not much of a fortress, it's got no bloody roof. Uninvited guests. Well, I can always. You'll beg for the shackles before I. Look now, you're scaring the poor slaves. Do something, you coward. Help your master. Really? You thought your slaves were gonna help you? Get fucked. if she said she was not glad to hear it. But then, quickly, get the gate open while this one frees her brother. Let's get out of here. What a nightmare. I need... Is there still a boat? Well, that was an adventure, of sorts. Daini managed to stash a handful of Turo's jewels away before the dogs captured her. This one feared that Sormund would demand more. But something softened him a bit. Daini does not ask questions. He agreed to take us aboard. That is enough, yes? Wherever Stormoon takes us, yes? After years of waking to the same nightmare, Daini could do with a surprise or two. 
Speaking of nightmares, thank you for reading Daini of hers. Knowing that Puro lies dead, it lightens the soul. Farewell, Walker. Do you seek out on Sword Moon ship too? Ha! <laughs> you mean to ask if his business stays up on board? This is Pelitin Walker. Every it is like you. Hey. So if I find no more crystal on the way, I'll finish it up. My crystal got collected. And move on to the next area. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Damn it.
Cool, I was looking at a lot of my own tree as well. Dead. Did you like, hear? The entire wedding party vanished, but the groom and some stranger rescued them all from oblivion. Baby doesn't wish death on anyone. But she will make an exception for the thieves who ruined... It seems Nishzo took no chances with the location. It should rest in its frame, where it belongs. In fact, oh, even this tattered scrap is as vibrant as she remembered. She can't wait to see the rest again. Bebia feared that the damage to Khajiit of the Moons would be beyond repair. Bebia looks forward to it. Rest assured, her gratitude knows no bounds. Lady Bebia, on my honor as an artisan, I will restore Khajiit of the Moons to its former glory. This one read it took 12 years to weave Khajiit of the Moons. She hopes it will not take that long to restore its beauty. I'll begin securing this in place. You may add any other pieces you recover to the frame, and I will handle the rest. How does it look, Sir Lord? Can we make it whole again? Mending the tears will not be the troublesome part. This work will bear scars, but I will endeavor to make them enhance its beauty.
This is where it happened. One moment I was smitten. This is where it happened. They came out of nowhere. I remember, I want to say three, but it was dark and they came at us so fast. Had to be at least three to haul away my uncle's gourmet moon sugar. There could have been more. I hope for Maisie's sake it was only three, though. I'm not an expert. I don't even like this stuff. But the purity of my uncle's moon sugar, well, it practically glows. He also adds herbs grown in the same fields to give it something extra. Anyway, look around and see if anything stands out. You mean Jesse Pinkman? Because he wants some hate there. What is it, Winx? What are you trying to tell us? He knows where they went. Winx, can you take us to Maisie? Woohoo! Look at Winx go! Follow that cat! Smugglers. You did it, Winx. Good kitty. I knew Winx could do it. I asked her to find Maisie and she led us right to this spot. Winx has never failed me before. She's an expert tracker, you know. My brother Avrik would use her to find me when I got turned around on a hunt. I want to rush down there and rescue Maisie, but I'd probably just make matters worse. I can't tell you how much I'd appreciate it. Besides, I'm still feeling a little discombobulated from the attack. I'm gonna take Winx and find a place to hide. We'll meet up with you when Maisie is safe and sound. not know what these bastards did with our moon sugar. Maybe you could look around while this one checks on your friend.
Lassie cannot believe she allowed these stinky smugglers to ambush us and take our cargo. This one is never so negligent in her duties. But Jasima was so... <clears throat> never mind that now. Did you find the stolen moon sugar? Let Messi see that. Hmm. The note mentions that a third of the shipment is headed to Senchao, while the rest was taken to two drop points. One by the river north of the swamp, and another at an old farm. Too many places for Messi to cover by herself. He did. Jasim is not like other Khajiit. He is different. Messi will find Jasim and try to intercept the smuggler going to Sanchal. Could you go to the drop points and retrieve the rest of the stolen moon sugar? Macy! Winx and I were so worried. I see you met our friend. This one is pleased to see you as well, Jasim. While you're I owe you a great debt for saving Maisie and finding Winx. Thank you so much, my friend. But what was that about Sensual and the stolen moon sugar? Is there still a chance to recover my uncle's goods? Well, that accounts for one of the portions. What about the other two? My uncle could be ruined if he lost two-thirds of his harvest. Then I owe you even more, friend. While my time here has been one disaster after another, I think I want to stay in elsewhere and learn the family business. But if I lose the moon sugar, my uncle will disown me and send me back to Rothgar. Don't be silly. I can visit them and write to them whenever I like. But this is a chance to get to know my Khajiit mother's family. To learn what it means to be Khajiit. And Maisie, well, she's really quite something, isn't she? I can't imagine that's true. She's so confident, so full of fire and steel. We're nothing alike. No, I think I'll keep those particular thoughts just between us, if you don't mind.
Yeah, I got really bad stress weight and heart burn right now. Hey, over here. Could use a little help. I know this guy. Hey, look who it is. Long okay. time no see, pal. I'd love to catch up and swap war stories, but these damned ropes really uh, knock the wind out of the reunion. You know, a dragon punted that wagon like a Vosh ball with me inside. Oh. There were two others in there with me. I think the kidnappers dragged them out. Tough to remember. I banged my head pretty good. My skull's thick, but it ain't that thick, you know? Yeah, real charmers. They planned to put us in some kind of exhibition. The kind you don't walk away from, I wager. I'm not gonna miss that cart, but the other prisoners, Tajahir and Mareki, are good folk. I mean to rescue them. Wanna just get these ropes off? Can't feel my hands! That's better. Now, where did those tuskless runts stow my armor? Ah, here it is. Now, let's have a look around. Find out where those bastards ran off to. I'm not for you, mate. Sorry, pal. Still a little woo. Good. Let me take a look. Hmm. So this Lady G's in charge, eh? Yeah, that makes sense. First lesson they teach you in bad guy school. Only use the first letter of your name if you're up to no good. <laughs> mm, safe bet. Don't have much to go on, though. The note mentions some blockhead named Selaway. Maybe if we show her that token, she'll talk. It's got to be a ticket or something, right? I say we head to Senshal's waterfront and track her down. I need to walk off this headache. If you find Selaway before I do, meet me at Senshal's marketplace, all right? Did you see that ceremony for the Dragon Guard? What a good Very idea, Jasim. I'm just happy if that the shield still have a job. 
We can turn a much faster Protic for your uncle. Oh, friend, we were so worried. You were gone so long, and we haven't been able to find the smuggler or the moon sugar bound for Sential. Please tell me you had better luck. Even if you didn't, tell me anyway. I need some good news right now. Seriously? You aren't pulling my tusk, are you? No, of course not. Well, that is good news. Now, if only we knew where to find the last portion of the stolen moon sugar. Let me see that. Oh, this is terrible. If the smugglers go through with this plan, they'll ruin my uncle's reputation. No one will ever buy his gourmet moon sugar again. Oh, friend, could you go across the bay and recover the last of our cargo? If you can recover the last of the gourmet moon sugar, I have a plan that I think will impress my uncle and show him I am good for the family business. Well, once we recover the gourmet moon sugar, instead of incurring the expense of traveling all the way to Rimen, we sell the cargo here. Maisie thinks it's a good plan. We may not get as much as in the big city, but we'll earn a fair price. Not yet. My uncle gave me a contact in Rimen, but I don't know anyone here in Sensual. Luckily, Maisie has made plenty of runs for my uncle. She thinks she can introduce me to the right merchants here in town. Hold on. One second. Alliance DGP. So it doesn't really matter, the starting area doesn't really matter unless you want to do all of the story stuff in order, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. But it purely depends on which, um, uh, what do you call it? Which, uh, which alliance. You picked. If you're not sure, I believe, yep, yeah. uh, alliance rank. Where can you see which alliance you are? Advanced stats. No. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which alliance. Oh, yeah. If you go into your character and you look at the top left, that'll tell me. I'll tell you, sorry.
Still there? Oh no. While you're doing that, um, if you want a guide for what order to do things in. This I've been using. Oops. For the follow. Uh, let's see, chat, chat. Damn it. Hold on, I'm gonna go to Tolo, we'll be back in a second.
Uh, Ebon Heart Packs. Um, Ebon Heart. Okay, so. We can ask his roost. That's for that. Yeah, so Ebon Heart, I believe, is Black Rock, Bleak Rock Isle. So, if you open up the map and you keep hitting the right click button until you get to here, and you go there, you want to look at this island up here just next to Vardenfell. That's where you want to go. No problem. Yeah, and then when you get there, you want to look for someone that has a quest line. Ah. Uh, so see how this quest has got like a triangle? You want to look for a diamond. So someone that's got a diamond above their head, that's the main quest line you want to go to. The rest are all side quests. It's up to you if you want to do the side quests first or not, but that's how you can tell the difference. Cool. Be right back. I'm going to go um, uh, call someone back. Um, um, the thing I was trying to share before, if you're worried about doing the, all the DSC and stuff in the wrong order, and all the alliances, I highly recommend following that. Because that's what I've been following. What am I doing? That's right. Uh, there it is, right there. It's all good, there's a shit load of content to go through. So it's very easy to get lost if you're not sure what to look for. Google is your best friend. Yeah, if you followed that thing that I just sent, that I believe you're the the red, yeah, so yeah, Bleak Rock Isle. Oh, new quest. Oh, sorry. I barely saw you there. Can I help you? Wait, where are my manners? Katina Garana. Daughter to Consul Onaria. Former Consul, I should say. She passed recently. I'm rambling. Sorry. My head, it's just... I haven't been sleeping well.
Honestly, no. Far yeah. from it. You don't have to stick that finger back on. By unsettling dreams. Every night since my mother died, my mind returns to this place. I see a man scribbling a letter. I hold my mother's necklace out to him. His eyes turn to me. Then I wake. I... I don't know. I just can't shake the feeling that my mother has unfinished business in the Citadel. Something to do with her necklace Probably order my dinner and that man. Perhaps you could take the necklace inside I'm for me? Feeling pasta. It's the key to this mystery. Oh, but normally I, I do pasta on Sundays. Ah, I really want to try my seat. Oh, no, but there's a favor I, I have. I really want to get that if I can. Assistance. A woman in my position can't afford to fall asleep at state dinners. And my mother, she should be resting peacefully in Aetherius, not calling out for help from beyond the grave. The last time I was on the. Oh, there it is. I do that. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm getting gelato as well later. Okay, so that means no cannoli. It's an Imperial War College called the Topol Legionary Academy. Or it was, at any rate. Now the locals call it the Forsaken Citadel. Some of the Empire's greatest tacticians studied and taught here. My mother among them. The flu. The Nahatan flu held this region in a vice grip for years, killing Khajiit by the thousands. According to my mother, the Commandant locked the Academy gates and refused to let anyone in or out. Hey, I was going to be hopping offline for a little bit tonight, but I'm not doing that anymore due to just things changing. Um, so instead I might be not here until later tomorrow night. Truthfully, no one knows. The gates never reopened. Don't know. It's all up in the air at the moment. About it. I can tell you this though. Someone or something still patrols those halls. People say you can hear groans and howls at all hours. The undead, I fear. I can never recall the beginnings, but they always end the same. I'm standing outside the citadel. Oh, good morning. We are now. Hope you have a good inside breakfast me. planned. I'm inside. I walk down a dank hallway that opens into a larger chamber. Then, I spot him at his writing desk. Hungover or didn't do anything last night? I'm assuming it's Saturday morning. Wary, troubled, certainly. Consumed by some secret resentment. I approach to get a better look at him. His hand drifts to a stop. Without even thinking about it, I hold out my mother's necklace, urging him to take it. I suppose. No. His eyes flick upward to look at me. Tired, reddening eyes. Much like mine, in fact. Sounds like he's a father then. Moment. Then I wake in a cold sweat. I know it sounds... I am. Following in my mother's footsteps, I suppose. Or trying, at any rate. As I said before, she served as a consul before she passed. Tending... She began her career as a legionary, believe it or not. She even taught here for a time. I suppose she just softened with age. Honestly, my mother rarely spoke of the time she spent here. I always got the sense she preferred to leave it in the past. Only at the end, she dripped. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
I thought I'd have to go inside. Turned out, not yet. Oh, god damn it. Um all the way down, I can get that one must off. That was lucky. Hey, this is the last of the money to go. I don't think it made it cheaper to use the way shrines. Maybe for the weekend or something, maybe there's a special day on where they got a lot of free players or something. Oh well. Did you see that ceremony for the Dragon Guard? Very impressive. I'm just happy that the shield still The guard certainly needs more recruits. But who thought that Martin de Two would make a good soldier? My uh, this one's uncle will finalize the ongoing contract. This exclusive arrangement for our gourmet moon sugar will benefit us all. <laughs> this one is pleased. We look forward to being the only distributor of your gourmet moon sugar in all of Pelotine. It's very lucrative. Look at that! I actually negotiated a profitable contract for my uncle. But what of you, my friend? Were you able- What an eventful day! I lost my cat, my uncle's moon sugar, even my... uh... guard. I think I'm a child of two places. Rothgar and elsewhere. I don't think I can- Jossim and Winx are gonna become the traitors they always knew they could be. I'm gonna ask my uncle to let Maisie and me open a trade route between Orsinium and Central. Uh, uh, that's a good idea. Willing, of course. Yeah. Nephew, this one came as soon as he got the message from me. Uncle, we sold your moon sugar and negotiated an exclusive trade agreement. This one sent you to Rimin and you wind up in Senchal expanding our business? Easy car is impressed. Uncle, I want to talk to you about another opportunity. You did well, Jasim. This one wants to hear all about your ideas for the business. Maisie wrote about a stranger that helped her and my nephew recover this one's stolen moon. That is good to hear. This one was so pleased to hear that his sister's child survived. Izikar plans to make Jasim an integral member of the family business. This one hates to lose a good caravan guard, but would love to gain a new daughter. <laughs> Do not be surprised. Yeah, like he, he does Izikar like him. has seen how the two of them look at each other. This one also likes the business to succeed, so yeah. Thanks to you, everything turned... With Maisie and Winx at my side, I think I can do anything. Well, I'm hoping she'll agree to something a little more permanent. I want her... Jasim has big plans. We spoke of them as we walked around Sunshell and waited to meet with those... Oh, very much so. Maisie would like to help Jasim understand the ways of the Khajiit. And she would very much like Jasim to... You think so? Perhaps you are right. Winx will probably run away again, if nothing else. It went for fun. Okay. Let's sell some of the stuff Someone. that... Is it expensive? Oh my god, it's a thousand gold! Back, let me know it. 
experiment. Yellow. Little scrolls. So, no. Every. Normally I'd do spag ball for dinner tomorrow night, but I'm thinking maybe I'll do snake and chips or palmer and chips. Actually, I haven't had a palmer in a while, I might do that. in the other direction. Hey. I don't like that better.
Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, I'm not. Of course, I've been I need to be sort of stable. Essentials elite, we, not a goblin peasant. This, this creates no scales of my back, sell away. I am not the one with the fussy mistress. Good luck. You will need it, I think. Mara's mercy, more distractions. I'm a little busy, so unless you have a message from my mistress or a ferocious beast to sell, Oh, hardy ha. A half melted token. Where did you find this? In a dead Murr's pockets, no doubt. Our event only accepts the very finest. Yes, maybe. It really depends on Lady G's mood. I can promise a good word, nothing more. Now the task. I paid a Khajiit named Zernash to deliver a token to Alberic Dufont. Alberic never received it. Find that lazy Khajiit. Zernash is a shameless drunk. You'll find him near the inn, no doubt. As for Alberic Dufont, he owns a residence not far from the inn. If you want a favorable introduction with Lady G, you won't keep Alberic waiting. Uh, yeah, I've been buying it for a couple of months now. So much to do. Um, I haven't really engaged with the computer to a whole lot, except when people come in and saying hello and asking for tips, but yeah. But I, I'm a kind of a solo person, I prefer to play offline games normally. Hey, there you but are. I wanted my Elder Scrolls. So. Away, lady? I asked a few of the shopkeepers about Lady G. Got a lot of weird looks and not much else. I get the feeling she doesn't spend a lot of time with the common folk. A job. I upload my um, stream recordings to YouTube, so oh, there's a couple of missing. Usually when I'm getting lazy, I forget to upload and it deletes from Twitch, but you can find a lot of it on there. Not sure. It's, it's it's like it's like hundreds of hours, so you're probably not <laughs> probably not want to gonna want to bother, but yeah. <laughs> Hard to blame them. This sellaway stinks. Now you're really just to, to advertise for the Twitch I channel. I saw Khajiit stumble by, slurring about a late delivery. Had some bottles tucked under his arm too. Bet you a slice of my aunt Murag's pie that he's our guy. Yep. Ah, yeah, here we go. Looks like he dropped a bottle over here. Let's look for more of these bottles, eh? You can't okay, so if you want recommendations, so you've got the Elder Scrolls games, so you want to go back and play Skyrim at least. Uh, the Witcher 3. Uh, um, what else? What else? What else? Assassin's Creed, I personally recommend. 
yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed. If you really like brutal games, the Dark Souls games are pretty good. If they, if you like it to be brutal, um, if not, I don't do those. Uh, come on, Wade, think of some good ones. Come on, think, Wade, think. Dragon Age. That's another good one. Um. Oh. God, I've played so many, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh, Baldur's Gate, of course. Which is heavily, heavily influenced by D&D, because it's set in that world. Yeah. I'm sure there's more that I'm forgetting. Distracted by sweet, sweet brandy. Wait! Orvik, yes, that house by the stairs. This one almost made it, but then. Hello, oh, oh. Brandy, you will tell Selloway I am sorry, yes? Oh. Here, put on his clothes. Have to look presentable for Orvik. Sugary moons guide your. Uh, your path. Gross. Yep. Khajiit just took off his clothes. Why did he take off his clothes? That's exactly what I said. Deliver a token, not some soused cat's dirty laundry. Of course he is. Ugh. Always with the sneaking around. All right, fine. Let's deliver the token. I'll keep Albrecht distracted before I hand it over. You sneak around his house and see what you can learn about this little event. I'm even worse at sneaking. Fair enough. I've got the upper hand. I bet he's not used to entertaining big, scary orcs. It'll be fine. You just focus on finding more information, all right? I want... Oh, for the love of Moloch. <laughs> Give him... Come on. Put him on. Oh, think you could have found something a little tighter? Doesn't look too bad. Let's get this over. To what do I owe the pleasure? Yeah, uh, I'm the, uh, token guy. Lady G sent me to deliver this. Ah, Lady Gisiliane. I just love how she shortens her name like that. Lends an air of mystery, don't you think? Yeah, she's definitely mysterious, that Lady G. Anyways, uh, sorry for the delay on your trinket there. You, uh, you all sent for her party or whatever? Oh, trinket. great. It's the greatest game. It's so much more than a trinket. This event is so classy, so exclusive. I even bought a new bow for the occasion. A new bow, eh? Yeah. I mean, everybody at the event should have a bow. I guess. Why do you say it like that? Oh, you think the others would frown on a bow, don't you? I knew it. I just knew it. But a sword is so messy. Ugh, the swamp will be messy enough. Say, you're in the know. Have you been there? What? The swamp? Yeah. Uh, all the time. But like, got everything? Good. Moloch's jawbone. I have got to get out of these clothes. Let's get out of here before he notices anything's missing. Follow me to the waterfront. We'll talk more there. 
who is going to be prey. find in Albrecht's house. Is this stinking event what I think it is? Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right. Filthy bastards. This lady G's got a troll-sized arse whipping coming to her and no mistake. Gotta get into the event first, though. Huh. All right, I got a plan. I doubt you're gonna like it, though. Oh, God. They're down an orc, right? I say we offer them a replacement. Me. I don't mean to brag, but they'd be idiots to turn down a specimen like this. You demand a ticket to the hunt as payment, then we meet up. Not a word of protest, eh? I see how it is. Ah, I'm just giving you a hard time. Tie me up and let's go. Get moving. Did I be behind him? There you are. I certainly hope you delivered that token. My lady has a, a gift. My, oh my, how wonderful. We suffered a mild setback recently and lost an orc of some... And his lady just like sound familiar. Five gold veneration is my name. Sell away. Obsequious as ever. Tell me, is Kerival Alberic appeased? And who might this be, with an orc no less? A recent acquaintance, my lady. They handled matters with Alberic. Under my watchful eye, of course. A fellow High Elf. How refreshing. I am Lady Gisiliane. It seems I have you to thank for settling this business with Alberic Dufont. Tell me, what payment do you require? And what do you have planned for your scout uh, hunting expedition? You'll have to be more specific. I organize men. Ah, that hunting expedition. I must admit some surprise. That particular excursion is by invitation only. I believe you're right. You know, my people meant to deliver an orc much like this one before being waylaid by a dragon. A welcome coincidence. I'd almost think you are competent, Selaway. This orc should provide a worthy challenge for my clients. Oh, um, yes, Lady Gisiliane. I'm gonna get up in a second. My dinner is almost here. There before. Beach. Hold there, traveler. A private event takes place here today. My apologies. Welcome to the hunt. Your quarry includes Khajiit, both large and small. If you seek a greater challenge, a bull orc roams the swamp as well. 
Please join us for refreshments at the conclusion of your excursion. Good hunting, Karam. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll go downstairs get my dinner.
Okay. Okay. I'm back. Got my dinner. Some seafood pasta. I haven't had in ages. Hold there, traveler. A private event takes place here today. My apologies. Mind the terrain and keep an eye out for the orc. Dangerous prey. Both lost. Foot through it. Lady T shall hear of this. I demand regrets. Oh, this sounds like you just weren't any good. It seems like a skill issue, mate. Oh, I mean the elitist is a little elitist. You do. Hey. My friend, you you came for us. Yeah, Thomas. Just too late. Damn it. Can you walk? Come on, stay with me, whiskers. I am spent, my friend. But Marek, she was alive when she is in the ruins, not of here. She plans to do something rash. Go, Scotto. Find her. I'll find Marek. You got my word on that. See if there's anything you can do for him, pal. Then meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. My friend Scotto uses anger to hide. Do they? Yes, Dajahir already feels Kenarki's breath on his face. Dude, that I, like 20 health potions. I do not have much time. She goes. Go, my friend. Tell Mareki. Tell her. Are we supposed to hunt each other? I thought there was chilling in this. Not much. You disgusting um. furball! Did you honestly think you could kill Lady Gisiliane? Hmm? Hold on. I'm gonna get something for the shells. And also need to refill my water. Moons, Marcy, am I glad to see you. We can let the jibble gather, yeah? She's here? Gotta tell you, it's tempting. We've gotta get you out of here. Come on! Your friend, then? She's just through that door. It's locked, you see? I stole the key and hid it. Here, I just need to... Oh. Again with the vomit? I've got to get this one to safety. Kill that damned elf and end this. Meet you on the road. Northeast, past the Huntmaster, all right? Come on, cat. Make it hurt, Walker. Oh, that went on a feet. I'm gonna eat quite a bit. How you say it? Like, why would they swallow it? Oh. That's why. Of course she worships her scene. And can't pick up the cheese.
Nenric. I'm sorry about Taja here, Mareki. Just wasn't fast enough, you know? Don't blame yourself. You came back for us, yes? That's far more than most would do. You have a good heart, Skordodinai. All right, all right. Don't go getting all sentimental on me. Greetings, Valkar. Skordo says you helped him find us. A good thing, too. Skordo is brave and handsome, but prone to rash decisions. Not like Moreki. Honestly, Moreki is bedraggled and no mistake. Matted fur, sword paws, dull claws, and not a scrap of cloth to conceal this sensuous physique. That's what a kidnapping turned person hunt will do to you, I guess. Losing Taja here hurts the worst. Hmm. For now, Moreki will stay with Skordo. Look at him. That pouty chin and those sad, slumping shoulders. He needs a friend, yes. Plus, he's not so bad on the eyes, eh? Those calves. Wow. Ah, oh, I'm out too much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never intended to come to elsewhere. But now, looking out over these jungles and plains, I'm thinking it might be worth sticking around. For a little while, anyway. Yeah, me too. He was just a pup, you know? A, a, a kitten, I guess. You know what I mean. At least we settled things with that skeeving Lady Gisiliane. It's good to know what happened to Taja here won't happen to anyone else. Yeah, she's a scrappy little thing, eh? The flirting's a little weird, but she knows this place like the back of her paw. If we knock our heads together, maybe we'll have enough smarts. Same as always, I guess. Keep wandering, keep working. Sword arm's healing up, and I wager there's plenty of gold around here for a thick-headed orc. Pleasure working with <coughs> Parched. Bareki is parched. I could really use a drink, Skordo. Funny, I was just thinking the same thing. No, you weren't. You were thinking of going back into that swamp and killing all those other hunters. Ha! What are you, some kind of witchy mind-reading cat? Oh, Skordo. You had your thoughts like a teenage dog. Spare a moment. Poor travelers, lost and all alone. Whatever will you do? Good thing me and my my friends are all around us right now, even if you can't see them. And while I may be nice and calm right now, I just want to help. My friends won't suit yourself. You'll be sorry that we couldn't come to an understanding here. Oh well, have fun on the road.
I know. I remember these halls. Once proud, now ruined. Oh, be God, please. Help me make things right. Seek out the library. A letter from my beloved rests upon a writing desk. My atonement begins there. Who are you? What are you doing here? Have you come to plunder what remains of our academy? It matters little. Whatever indignities you plan to visit upon these halls will pale against the curse I put on them. I am Jano Invel, Imperial Battle Mage and Spellcraft Instructor. And yes, I wrote that letter. What is this about? After 20 years of imprisonment, I won't suffer idle conversation. Speak plainly or leave. Garana? By the Eight. Yes. I recognize both the name and the locket. That piece of jewelry was to serve as the focus for a soul warding spell. We meant to use it to keep us safe from the flu. But then Honoria left, taking the necklace with her. I hesitate to hope, but yes. Yes, perhaps it could. After Honoria left with the locket, I attempted to craft new focuses, totems made of Honoria's treasured objects. All three attempts failed, and the result? Well, look around. That locket should guide you to other totems bound to the same spell. You must destroy those corrupted totems. They bind our souls to the failed warding ritual. Once they're destroyed, Return to me with the locket. Then I can mend what's broken. You will think less of me for having used it. The ritual binds souls, much like a soul gem. Mm -hmm. Unlike a soul gem, it also binds flesh. So long as the focus of the ritual remains intact, the bodies and souls of those touched by the spell remain as well. Spells that affect the soul always carry risk. My love, my partner, Honoria, seemed certain that the locket would serve as a potent focus. I gave it to her, you see. It belonged to my mother, and her mother, and so on. It carries emotional potency. The warding ritual relies upon strong bonds. Yes, a totem of comparable value. I tried to use items precious to her, things she'd abandoned, but none of the items carried the necklace's weight. The bonds proved too weak. Each time I cast the ritual, the curse grew more severe.
Not immediately. One by one, they fell to the flu. The spell proved too weak to protect their flesh, but too strong to let it pass. Now their souls and corpses remain. Tortured. She had doubts, certainly. We all did. But at a certain point, it seems she lost faith in the ritual completely. I was furious, at first. I even called for her to be arrested on charges of desertion. What? Or would have, had I sent that letter. No great surprise there. That was the longest, most agonizing. The warding spell makes them nearly impossible to break through conventional means. This is spellcraft. Jano was so desperate to save these people, and I let him down. I let them all down. That's why I must make this right. Still, Jano doesn't know why I left. Why I had to protect the very thing that was more important than even myself. If only I could have told him. Awesome. I've seen I haven't got yet. It's just the dark house dungeons.
he's trying to even cut at me. Probably like to put on strategy and tactic. Possibly history and politics. Ooh, I think I've already got it there. Yeah. Toys. Did you clutch this as a child? I, I have to try. Damn you for leaving me, Honoria. Damn you! I yes. sewed that doll with my own hands. A gift for our child. For Jano's child. He never suspected that I bore his daughter in my womb. Too busy. Always too busy. The ritual. A feeling. The soul binding. I couldn't risk the life of our child on a spell like that. So I left. Damn my cowardice. I left without saying goodbye. But now, we can make things right. Hello. Expect this to you, but I am happy to see it. Of the gold. Find out in a second. How old was? Yeah. Nice. This back one. That's an exit of some sort. Go left and around the corner. All right. Yep. Yeah. Alright. If you read it, you always valued your privacy, Anoria. Maybe this will be enough. Your worries. Your joys, your secret desires. Another legionary fell ill today. It has to be enough. My diary wasn't enough. If he had just read it, he would have known why I left. 
For once, Jano, I wish you would have cried. Right, no, for not doing it. I've spent months in this game and I still don't have a full size bed diagram. Fine. I mean, who just leaves gold pile lying around like that, really? That's cool. It's a cabinet bookshelf. I already know about who. Really hammering on a finished cabinet. Got a bit of muscle memory, that zombie. These two are practicing. fire when I'm looking over there. I've got my laptop there with chat open. Just in case you're curious. Eva. Same thing. Nah. Close enough. Ah, okay. Fair enough. When I have, when I say um, I've Twitch on there, I mean I've got Twitch chat, not um another stream. <laughs> But yeah, I understand what you mean. Just something to have going on, on in the background where you doing something. Ooh. That sucks. Yeah. I hope you're doing therapy or meds or something about it. To at least like ma help you manage it and get better, because I neglected going to therapy and doing anything about my anxiety until I had a massive panic attack at work and I thought I was having a stroke. And for about a month I was worried that I was going to have another stroke and it was just going to be it. I was going to be dead. Problem is the symptoms are pretty similar. A panic attack and a stroke. You get numbness, slurred speech, out of body feeling. All that stuff. She polished this sword once a fortnight. Yeah, I was convinced I was having a strike. So One of the scariest things that have ever happened to me. Point. The item had to bind us together. The two of us. Gods, I am so sorry, Jano. Oh, this place is a bloody maze. Ah. 
And also, fuck what some people say. It's okay to take medication for mental health issues. Obviously, it doesn't work for everyone, but if it does work for you, then fuck what other people say. Do you have any questions before we try this? Thank the eight you're back. Did you destroy all three totems? I pray you did. I already feel the binding ward loosening. If we dispel the magics on the locket, our souls should find peace at last. Drop the locket into the flame. My grip on the Mundus is weak at best, but I managed to conjure this fire while you were away. It should burn away any arcane energy still clinging to the necklace. Once those magics dissipate, she knows what breaking the curse requires. Whatever. Hey. She chooses her allies well. That's my clever. No. I try to reconcile with the man I betrayed. I will try to contact Katina one last. Tell her the truth. Her father wanted to save everyone despite the risks. I wanted to keep. Flesh always proves sluggish and stubborn. These corpses. I'm sorry I left you when you needed me, my love. It was cowardly. But there's something I must tell you. The reason I fled. What possible reason could you have? We could have saved these people, Anoria. Why? Why did you leave me? Come with me, Jano. Let me show you before we fade away. Huh? Yeah, that sucks. Especially when it's like something that's completely out of your control. Although I would hope that's not very often. you discover? What a relief. On both counts. Did you discover the cause of her distress? What? And that spell became a curse. The curse that's afflicted the Academy these 20 years. Of course. But I don't understand. My father? But how? I'll need some time to process all this. I can't believe she bore the weight of this all these years. In any event, thank you for helping her. I hope the two of them find a way to reconcile in Aetherius. Her and my father. I should really get some sleep, but with all that's happened, I don't know how I could manage it. Secrets from my mother's past, a father I never knew. It's a lot. There we go. Who is this? This is your daughter, Jana. Katina. This is why I left. The ritual posed too high a risk for an unborn child. I tried to tell you so many times, but you were so busy and I was a coward. Katina, I had no idea. 
She has your eyes, Emoria. And your stubbornness, my love. Which is why I knew she would find a way to help us. I should have told you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you for showing her to me. I... I only wish I had more time. I think I'll rest here a moment before I head back to Central. The Citadel. You don't see Grand Imperial edifices like this outside of Cyrodiil very often. Perhaps we can reclaim it. If we manage to... Oh gosh, she's kind of attractive. Those things so much in Morrowind. They're much better here, but not much. Not much better. This in the game Morrowind. Not the place. Hey, dude. These guys are cool. I wonder if we can get a mount with one of these. Them? Rocky. I'm usually more careful with my special ingredients, but then that first sand veil passed by overhead. I just forgot about everything else. Were you able to find my lost ingredient bottles? And she's got a few screws loose. Then look at that. No wonder I misplaced it. Looks hallucinating a little. I made must have been particularly potent. I'm sorry, stranger, but I won't be able to make enough for you to see the sand whales. Take this instead, with my thanks. If you ever find yourself in Skyrim, look me up. I promise to save enough of my concoct. I was going to head over to Hammerfell. I hear that, in addition to sand veils, they also have sky mammoths that graze upon the clouds over Sentinel. I really want to see that. Sure, even. Hey, three side quests. Did you see? 
see that ceremony for the Dragon Guard? Very impressive. I'm just happy that the shields still have a job. This one here's a bird. You found tender claw, yes? Mm hmm. Yeah, how long have I been carrying around the cat? <laughs> Thank you for bringing tender claw. Well, it's not a very good one, obviously. Probably has something. Yes, yes, give Tender Claw here. Oh, stupid little thief, always tracking off on his own world. If you ever find yourself in need of some decent, we carry on a. I would have robbed you blind if I hadn't gotten tangled up in that <laughs> sack. I hate you. I, re I figured that wasn't a house cat. Terrible thief, Tender Claw. And with that eye patch, you do not even look like a proper lost kitten. I told you to never mention my eye patch. It makes me self-conscious. Yeah, I knew that wasn't a house cat. The peril disguise. Damn it, I'm going the wrong way. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Some of those um, tapestry pieces. This is the right door. While I'm here, Lady Laurent passed through here. I think she may have finally fired that insufferable Stibbins. Bind and it's not being bound yet.
Oh no, I can just grab that red guard bed diagram when I have the chance. I just grabbed it. Street peeps. more quests to go. I do that. Let's quickly check in here. Hours. Not being, not turning into crook crap today. But I can't talk right now. My beloved just had should No, no, my poor just had. This damn stone. I knew that woman was no good. She told just how that the stone would bring him a gift from the Lady of Light, she said. I thought it was a joke or a swindler trying to take our gold. But she never asked for it. I'll drop this stone in the deepest lake or river. I if you'll excuse me. I need a few moments with my thoughts. Okay. 
last side quest. And the next area is what I'll do. <sighs> Did you see that ceremony for the Dragon Guard? Very impressive. Gonna turn him to the hangover. Ready, print just finished. is most potent and refrain from asking too many questions my customers value their privacy it's skooma i'm delivering skooma on a I keep checking the chest even though the herbalist his debt is paid and his secret
God, there's a final package. Are you the herbalist's curry? I know I should pay, but we don't have anything left. We only have each other and medicine, remedy. I don't care what it's called. My daughter suffers from constant pain. She can barely speak, barely stand. The, herb the different courier delivers it each time, and each courier demands a different price. Some are very expensive, some are the remedy. Oh, no cost. Oh, bless. We would have felt bad about robbing them. I hear you completed the deliveries quickly, and while the product was still potent, well done. Because it isn't. Not exactly. It doesn't heal injuries or cure diseases. I tried to craft such elixirs and failed. My product simply makes life more tolerable for those in pain. It's... My suppliers demand profit. Fortunately, there's enough wealth in the city to keep them satisfied. They believe the poor don't deserve to live without pain. Clearly, I disagree. If they knew I gave away the product, it would not end well for me. And I am grateful to them. I haven't always been kind to others, to myself. Crafting the remedy makes me feel worthwhile. <laughs> like I might be able to one day forgive myself for past mistakes. Sorry, dude, I is thought it, you were Dylan Skinner. End, I'm as selfish as anyone. <laughs> oh, bad now, because I thought he was Dylan Skinner. That's my current print. I'd like to think so, but it feels like Senshal is determined to destroy any kindness that lurks within its walls. Please accept this payment and some additional gold for your efficiency.
Nice. Quickly visit the table. Good. Okay, um, now I'll quickly visit the Thieves' Den. Outlaw Refuge is what it's called, not Thieves' Den. In here? In the well. Alright. There it is. Outlaws Refuge, not Thieves Den, goddammit.
Oh. Sorry. I got add a message from my brother about something. Forgot to actually Google what I was Googling. Okay, so. This is the next place. Oh, that's so the agent is vestige. You're the help the Skull King promised. Suddenly, I feel a lot better about our chances. Still, this threat is bigger than King Yorin imagined. The Ice Reach Coven, which is operating in secret right under the Skull King's voluminous nose. <laughs> and this isn't just the usual Reach mischief, of that, I'm sure. I need to investigate, but I can't do it by myself. Help me locate the coven and determine their ultimate intentions. Between the two of us, we can cover more ground and figure out the full extent of this threat. As long as the magic Yoran's wizards gave me works as promised, that is. Meet me in Grotwood. The Scald King's scout spotted members of the coven near Boar's Run. We'll start there. Meet me near the Overlook at the Elden Root Temple. As for the magic, I'll tell you more about that when we're away from prying eyes. Mm. Okay. Mind blow. If you it's focusing or not, but you get blake by accident. Too much. Too bad, though. King Yoren sent me to look into a sudden barrage of storms in the Sea of Ghosts. At least two ships sank beneath the freezing waves. The Ice Reach Coven was responsible. 
I uncovered evidence suggesting they're planning an attack on the mainland. I'm not exactly sure. That's why we need to investigate. But if they have the ability to summon destructive storms on command, think of the damage they can inflict on towns and cities. Look, are you ready to go or do you need time to prepare? This is the place. Can't say I know what Reach Witches would be doing here. But the Scald King Scouts have never sent me on a wild guard chase before. Let's see if the trek out here was worth it. Well, we defeated Molag Ball and stopped the plane melt, but the Empire I knew was dead and gone. I wasn't it. Whatever I can. Traveling. Dealing with problems as I encounter them. <laughs> My axe has been busy, that's for sure. Mostly I've been helping Yoran the Scald King. Looking into bad situations. Like this one, with the Ice Reach Coven. I was getting to that. At Ice Reach, I picked up a couple of the medallions the witches were wearing, for further study by the Skald King's wizards. The wizards determined that magic was infused into the jewelry, but not its purpose. The Skald King's wizards added their own spell to the medallions. We each get one. Here. They're supposed to lead us to magic similar to what's contained in the medallions. Ice Reach magic. Wave it around and see what happens. Don't look at me. It's not like Nords are known for being great mages. <laughs> so whatever the Scald King's wizards did may not work, or it could explode. Hold up the medallion and see if you can make uh -oh. it work. Those words of glue would glue just stop. Thanks to the Scald King's wizards, it should lead us to magic similar to what's contained. Give me a sec, I'm gonna clean up a little bit in here.
Okay. We're gonna clear away some of the crap. Trail. I'll This doesn't look good. So, find anything that will help us locate the Ice Reach? I was led to a similar site. Damn, witches! Whatever game the Ice Reach Coven is playing at, we need to put an end to it. Preferably with multiple swings of my axe. Let me see the note you found. That's no help. Luckily, Yorin's scouts provided a few locations of interest with their last report. Let me mark them on your map. When you reach each location, use the medallion and see where the magic leads. Okay. First ice storms, now fire. Keep your guard up. The coven won't hesitate to kill anyone who gets too close. right there. Quest I never found over here. My friend Feralian has gone missing. It's my fault. I think Feralian. Please. I.
I'm a little threat, so I almost left him error. or further away. I don't buy business when you attack me. Damn, this is a long stream.
nothing like a quick battle to get the heart pumping. But I'm surprised we haven't faced more opposition. The coven must be preoccupied. Wasn't expecting to fight vampires, though. Did you find anything interesting at the sites I marked on your map? A blood fiend? You don't usually run into them in this part of the world. Let me see the note. Huh. There's that word again. Lucrative. And what's that about a simple ritual? Sounds like coven activity to me. Anything else to report? I don't like the look of that. It feels wrong. The Skull King's mages will want to examine it. In the meantime, we need to figure out what the coven is up to. How do rituals, vampires, and blood fiends figure into their plan? And just one. A note from a merchant named Goharth Ironbelly. Found it on these vampires. Ironbelly is apparently supplying something the coven requires, but the note doesn't go into details. Oh. The note said Iron Belly does business at the Withered Tree Inn. This way. Once we spot Iron Belly, we'll follow from a distance until he leads us to the coven. Why have you got your axe out, lady? This is the place. Let's head inside and finalize our plans. Iron Belly's note suggested he'd meet with the coven after he did some business in this inn. When he arrives, don't do anything to alarm him. We want the merchant completely at ease when he leaves to go run. Just mill about and try not to draw attention to yourself. Honestly, I'm more comfortable with the direct approach, but we need to play this carefully. You're the hero who defeated Sadal at Tormented Spire. My respect. Ah, good lizard. I'll take a pint of your finest ale. And what have we here? You're a strapping lass. Let old Iron Belly buy you a drink or two. What do you say? Huh? Not interested. Not interested? Go hot, Iron Belly never takes no for an answer. Go away, little man, before I break you. I beg your pardon. But things will be different after that bitch lives up to her promise. Hmm. It sounds like an insult. I thought that was him.
up right way. Thought he was going to be down here, but nope. Never fails. Follow a rat, you wind up in a sewer. What's it called the rat way? Why my sewers always smell so bad? God, when we find Iron Belly, I'm gonna cave in his head for dragging us down here. My armor will never be mistaken for a bed of roses, but sewer stink lingers like Thane Yagi around the meat hall. You followed Iron Belly, I followed you. Come on, let's find that slimy merchant and see what he's doing down here. Thieves and murderers aren't the only scum that inhabit the rat way. The local Jarl keeps sealing the entrances, but it never stays closed for long. I remember correctly there were blood fiends down here last time I was here. No, damn it. Sneaky bastard. He rigged the gate to lock behind him. Don't wait for me. Find Iron Belly. Undead. It's a bit They're not green. Were you followed, Iron Belly? Of course not, Sister Balra. My caution is legendary. And have the arrangements I requested been made? The flyers have been distributed. And your friend with the fangs? Busy, I'm afraid. You promised a vampire would turn me! Make good on our deal, or I'll report this to the Jarl! You will do nothing, Idiot. his usefulness. Oh, what an idiot. I 
hope Iron Billy told you something before you killed him. So what happened? Did you get too close? Did he attack you? Damn. That must have been one of the Ice Reach Coven Witches. Any idea where she... That's not much to go on, but it's all we have. I'll meet you at the cart outside of town. There's two quests I picked up in the right one. Is that? Yes, I can tell by the runes. The slight alterations in the design and structure is unique to the Valenwood Aliads. I would be greatly interested in reassembling and studying this tablet if you're willing. How exciting! We still have much. Thank you. Everyone knows the Aliads left many secrets behind. Correct. We already. <laughs>
Da the expert. Oh, I thought that was a cool drop. Oh, it's a ramp. It's an incline.
thought I was food for sure. Thank you. We should get out of here while we can. Thanks, friend. I was... I wish there was something I could give you by way of gratitude. Put them all up before. All right, the cart's ready. Now tell me what else you found out down in the Ratway. Let me see that. Huh. Another lucrative opportunity. But this time we know where they're leading people. To an isolated inn somewhere in East March. Did you hear anything else that I need to know? A vampire. Working with the Coven. That would explain the strange blood fiends in the Ratway. Yep. We'll worry about that later. Right now we have... The cart will take us to the Grinning Horker in East March. Hop aboard and we can get along. I don't want to give the Coven any more of a lead than they already have. Answers, I hope. That's what Yor and the Scald King sent me to find, after all. The Witches of the Ice Reach Coven are definitely up to something. Luring unsuspecting folk with promises of wealth. Tempted to a death. If you're ready to travel to the Grinning Horker... Good idea, but so far the pieces don't tell a complete story. We found evidence of the Coven luring people with promises of gold so they could experiment on them. Ritual items, vampires, and strange blood fiends. What does it all mean? I've seen similar totems, but nothing exactly like that witch pike. It disturbed me just to look at it. Okay. It appears to be a key component to their ritual, though the Scald King's mages will... The Ice Reach Coven consists of witches and warriors of the Reach loyal to their cause. I never saw a connection to vampires before. You saw what I saw. We need to walk from here. Follow the path up the mountain. Malkar has the rage. Or choosing Western Sky.
Place looks empty. Let's talk. I think I'm here, apparently. Nothing waiting to impede our progress. No guards. No witches. Nothing. Just a lonely inn on a desolate hillside. If Iron Belly's flyer led us astray, we're gonna head back and kill him again. I expected answers. Iron Belly sent people here for a reason. They have to be someplace. If we don't pick up the Coven's trail, I'm not sure we'll find them again in time to stop whatever the witches have planned. Let's take a look around. Anything that points to what the witches are up to. We need to determine the full extent of the threat. Let's explore the inn and look for any clues as to what... Okay. I've never known a Nord to abandon a meal while there's still food on the plate. I'm gonna back to the gig up my gelato downstairs.
big woman. Bedrolls. For those who came for the lucrative opportunity. I wonder where they are now. Fresh blood. It leads to that hatch. Great. The trail lead. It's not right. There must be nothing important. Definitely not a secret passage. I am not touching that. Never a secret passage when you need one. I knew there had to be a secret passage. Let's see where this goes. How far down does this tunnel lead? <laughs> One of the Reach Witches? You have to help me. We were in the Hawker, waiting for them to tell us how we were going to make a pile of gold. When they ordered us to go to the basement. One of us. When we saw the Reach Witches, a few of us tried to fight. I slipped away before anyone noticed. They're doing something terrible down here. Something monstrous. Please, you must help the others. And you need to destroy the Pikes. They're... My friend, I thought it was just an old legend, but it's real. Blackreach, the world below Skyrim. Every Nord child hears the stories. How another world stretches beneath the Nine Holds. Each story is slightly different. Some talk about dwarven cities, others about what else could it be. Whatever it is, it's a perfect hiding place for the Ice Reach Coven. We need to get down there and find the witches. We must put a stop to whatever evil the Coven is planning. The poor man is frightened out of his mind. I'll escort him back through the tunnel to the Grinning Horker. Meanwhile, get down there and see what you can find out. If you see any witch pikes, destroy them. I'll catch up with you shortly.
Ah ouais. Donc on en reste. All of you, follow me. We'll sneak out once the coast is clear. Hold for it. You need to hear what I have to say. Thank the aid you came along. We were next in line for the witches' ritual. I saw the witches put some poor sods into a circle, surrounded by evil-looking pikes. They chanted and called forth a strange black storm. It killed some, but turned most of the people into those... Harrow fiends. That's what Sister Balra called them. There's a dwarven ruin west of here. Sister Balra has been using that as her personal domain. If she's around, that's where you'll find her. Damn it. I should have known. I needed work. A lucrative opportunity was too good to pass up. It seemed strange when they marched us into the basement. We tried to fight, but there were too many of them. Kralt got away, though. Thanks for seeing you here. I got back as quick as I could. Other than a few skirmishes, I didn't uncover anything important. What about you? Tell me you found something. Two things I wholeheartedly approve of. 
I carved a path through a number of witches and vampires myself. Sure as bones there are a lot of these bastards. This is it. This must be what the Skull King is worried about. A ritual that produces harrow storms. Magic that turns people into a new kind of blood fiend. A harrow fiend. I wish I knew whose head I had to remove to stop this. Sister Balra? The same witch that killed the merchant back in Riften. I... A Windhelm sentry? That lying, manipulative hey, witch. Right? She stabbed me. The rich witch, Sister Balra. We had a deal, but she dotted me. Listen, forget about me. I made a terrible mistake. I told her how to sneak it. Balra said she had something planned for hiking urine. Said I was loose and... Please, I think she means to kill the Skull King. You must save him. I know. Idiot. Sells out the Skull King for a handful of gold. Assassinating the Skull King would be a terrible blow to Skyrim and the Pact. But I assumed the Ice Reach Coven had a grander plan than that. Nevertheless, we have to save Yorin. A deathbed confession? That tells me the Sentry believed he... Palace of Kings, hurry! We must warn Yorin. I found this. Fortune really does smile on us these days. That means they're outside over here in Skyrim. Doesn't look like anyone's on alert. Maybe we got here in time. Divulge such information. Even the great Lyris Titanborn must know that. It's a matter of royal security. Royal security? Listen, you little fool. <laughs> you talk to her. Who does Titanborn think she is? Demanding to see the Scald King. Whatever you and the half giant think you found is irrelevant. The Scald King is safe inside the Palace of Kings. Hmm. Well, it's true that Sentry Darfel never arrived for his shift today. And High King Yorin is touring the palace, but that's supposed to be a secret. How highly irregular. But if this is true, King Yorin wanted to tour the lower level. Into the palace. Well? Let's move. Why would the Coven and its allies need that?
map details the distribution of troops throughout Skyrim. Look, they tore off the western holds. Blocking. Look there on my glass what was happening, isn't it? Can a lady drink in peace? Sway as we kiss, sway as we give. Keep moving. Hmm? Best armor and my son Galmar. I wish I had.
What do you want? Where do these hairy things come from? Like they just spawn out of nowhere. Key to the dungeons. Yorin wasn't up here, so let's search down there.
the Skull King alone, witch. Yorin is ours. We make a fine addition to our patron's forces. This is patron. Wanted to turn me into a monster. I've had enough of this dungeon. Let's talk in the throne room. That's my report, Skald King. Our friend can tell you more. Held captive in my own dungeon. If word gets out, I would be laughed off my rebuilt throne. And rightly so. On to business. I heard Lyris' report. Now tell me, what did you uncover? Yes, so Lyris mentioned. Harrow Fiend, she called them. An ominous name. And that Sister Balra claims she was turning me into a monster? What else did you learn about the Ice Reach Covenant? Vampires. I have known both decent and terrible folk burdened by that curse. I take it the ones working with the Coven fall into the latter category. Anything else? Yep. Uh. Hoffinger? High King Svargrim rules that hold from the City of Solitude. We don't see eye to eye, especially since neither of us will openly acknowledge the other's reign. Still, he should be warned. Talk to Lyris, I have much to think about. Svargrim and the people of Western Skyrim can be real pains in the arse, but they're still Nords. Despite the differences between their holds and ours, we won't abandon them to the Coven's conspiracy. Not so fast, friend. Western Skyrim doesn't exactly get along with Eastern Skyrim. Politics can be a tricky business, so I... Now we celebrate our victory and let Yorin's scouts do what they do best. Meanwhile, I'll work with the Skald King to figure out how to approach Svargrim with this news. In the meantime, take this. You earned it. This isn't over, not from what we learned of the Ice Reach Cup. There hasn't been a single ruler in over a hundred years. Jarl Svarter of Solitude refused to recognize Freydis as the legitimate heir. Ever since, the kingdom has been divided. Damn inconvenient at times like this. Joran rules over eastern Skyrim from Windhelm, while Svargrim lords over the western holds from his palace in Solitude. If the Ice Reach Coven has targeted western Skyrim, it will take both nations to stop. Train. Eat. Drink. Probably drink some more. But don't worry.
Come on, help us out here. We have deadlines to meet. You know the rules. No one's allowed inside without authorization. And I don't see our paperwork. I don't believe this. I'm not leaving until you let us in. helmet and they get all high and mighty it's no wonder the palace is still a wreck I trouble with. It's not strength. Oh, good damn it.
dann mal auf. Friend, there's no information. The Ice Reach Coven at work in the West. I just need more proof. Go! Don't trust them. Only Lear. You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? I'm assisting a fugitive is a crime. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And mark my words, you'd rather not get on the wrong side of the high. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. I want to punch you in the fucking face. fleet of sea giants and vampires stormed the island, bent on slaughter. Our soldiers fought bravely, but the invaders pushed the last of our troops back to the keep. They'll land a decisive blow any minute. We gather some stout allies and take this boat north to the island. Once you arrive, speak to Captain Lil Myra. Provided she's still alive, she'll lay out Thane Agvar's plan for defending. Kind preserve you, friend. With your help, it's a rock. Brondled. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't did. Stone's mercy. But I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any. He. He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any. The last time we spoke, it was about the men. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. 
Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to... We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scald King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness. They'd be wise to... The only time Breachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. Who knows? A wild land full of wild folk, located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory. You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of... Is that a heroic... Fucking hell, Solitude's exactly the same as Skyrim. Like the same layout. I'm pretty sure this is their house. Oh my god, it's like being back home. This place is the same. It's quite bigger, actually. No, let's see.
And I just got flashed back. Steps that make noise. I haven't seen you before. Are you new to solitude? Better yet. Not me, my debtors. I provide funds to the court. Tenzin represents. So they have the dailies. Seeking a reliable research assistant with little to no fear of death. Orcs. If they aren't fighting, they're fighting about fighting. Hold up there, young blood. Is that you? Listen closely, you insufferable clod. I need you to find my notes and stuck in the bottle. No, no, no. This is a devious and very stubborn illusion. One that you now have the privilege of breaking. It's quite simple. I recorded the locations of three verses of a powerful incantation in my journal on the off chance. Oh, my assistant Gorfrey has my journal. Find it, read my notes, and acquire the incantation. Oh, does it really matter? Indeed, I... Steel! Why, weak any... Oh, illusion magic extends far beyond simple parlor tricks and mirages. Precisely! Yes, the name... Was! Ah, countless people! <laughs> Private game. This is still the Bard's College? Yep. <laughs> oh fuck. This place hasn't changed at all. Let me guess. You found one of those ridiculous handbills Reginus posted all over town. Gods, it's like we're holding on dish the University of Guilem's most prestigious historical society. We scour the continent for lost antiquities. An invention of our university's founder, Chirain Fire. It allows the wielder's mind to travel vast distances and find buried. Hey, thanks for the ride, man. Lost to history. Gazing into the eye requires no small measure of talent. How talented are you? I wonder. Admission to the circle begins easily enough. Just place your hand on the antiquarian's eye. If you possess the aptitude, you will attune to the eye immediately. If you don't possess the aptitude, the eye will reject you. Couldn't be simpler. It's a magnificent device, alien in origin. As I said before, our university's founder, Chirain Fire, developed it along with countless other scholarly tools. Alas, he died before... It homes in on objects of historical import. Much like a bloodhound, without all the baying and... We recovered several from a vault in Eleni. We seek the truth above all else. Hey, everyone. Mysteries rarely give um, an honest accounting I'm of the sharing past. Elder Scrolls so Online. To the source. I'm Rings, on ice stream tree, pretty much even ancient every other day during the week, and then both days on weekends. Um, yeah, I mostly stream my RPG content. I stream a bit of 
Everything. Ah, oh, so in the past I've streamed Elder Scrolls. Sorry, streaming Elder Scrolls. In the past I've streamed the Uncharted series. Uh, not The Witcher. I did Cyberpunk. I did Assassin's Creed. Yeah, a whole bunch of. Oh, Dragon Age. So yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. I assume you mean commercially valuable. Yes. You can puzzle games as well. Did a couple of VR things too, which I plan on doing more of now that I've got a proper game on PC. And learning what we can from them. But if you then sound, if that sounds interesting, please follow. It's a school, of course, the very best by any credible assessment. At least it was. Uh, but I wouldn't give to walk those halls again. This frigid annex is a very poor substitute. Very poor indeed. For a time, I studied there as well. Despite all of Cyrodiil's struggles, I really did believe we could weather the storm. But war has far-reaching consequences. Here and elsewhere. Okay. Impressive. We rarely see such an energetic attunement. Well, well, well. It seems I under it. In a hurry, are we? We'll teach you to use the eye in due course. First, do you vow to uphold the principles and an excellent decision? Now then, down, speak with me. Because I'm not a myth. Not just right. Okay. Oh, I got this grind for. It's actually going back to the main quest. God, Solid Group looks almost exactly the same as what it was in Skyrim. It's bloody weird. There should be a well around to this corner. Ah, oh, it's over there. But, close enough. Ah, oh, wrong floor. First city that's been pretty much identical to what it was in the game, except the uh, stables is in a different spot, but that's probably the only difference. Right back in the oh, yep, Ramadan. So, if you're wondering why I kept looking to my right, that's because my laptop is there, it was tapped open.
Da war der noch so. That was an Inn. What was this? I can't remember what this was. Okay. That's a church. Hold on there, yeah. Crit. Bust. This one looks crazy. Yorin didn't mention he was sending you to solitude. Not that I'm sorry to have you along. Mm. An extra blade is always welcome. As soon as Brondold shows up, we can get things started. He's what? Oh, damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to protect... We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this Look at if you stop swinging your accent. Follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. There is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself. I'm the companions. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you. But I... Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svalgrim to heed the words. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svalgrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but sh thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. He will not easily earn the High King's trust. You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Joran exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. It's enough for me to believe you're in my deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to Well they killed an innocent dude, so You handled that better than I expected. In case you missed the dish. Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Rondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Scald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Rondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Sure. Rondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in battle. After the Ice Reach Coven's attack on the Scald King, we determined they also had plans for Western Skyrim. <laughs> He's still holding her axe. Lord, so he sent Brondold to get the lay of the land and me to persuade Svargrim. You can see how that's going. In all the girls with us. In all honesty, they can't stand each other. But King Yoran doesn't want the Coven to topple Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Joran was hoping to use this as an opportunity to improve relations. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. Oh. Oh, 
Also, um, I've got a 3D printer, so you might see me look over at it every now and then. And while I'm talking Castle to people, I'll be whittling away Stone support material of prints. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. Hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice! There a reason you're interrupting our game, pork face? Don't know any bronze old. Don't know you. I... Dead? That's a new one. Nothing Kasala usually moves through port is worth killing over. You didn't hear it from me, but she's the one picking up those shipments. Her warehouse is down on the docks. You want... Hey. Alec hanging from the way shot? Oh no, it's like gold things. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Hey! Nobody intimidates my friend. The lifetime of fighting is finally catching... Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father... Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a... Ah, interesting. My father didn't send you. Why are you threatening my friend? Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or something. <laughs> Let's talk outside, partner. Oh, she was peeling on him. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And True. if the two are connected... Maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready <laughs> to visit Casella's warehouse? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, she was going to say something. Let's try not everything. to cause a scene. Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? Blood and Blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a <laughs> woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep fair Lyris company in her stead. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. 
You think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? God, he's so a fanboy. When I have one. Do you know <laughs> Lyris' betrothed? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said. Good job with the sentry. You got rid of him and I... See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. Interesting. Ah, again, interesting. Hello. I knew whoever was poking through our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High... Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods, especially ones from the Reach. Uh -huh. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. No name, just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see his same face twice. Last time it was a smooth talk in Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being Indeed, thorough. Lady. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. The Breton was sly. Handsome even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they... Rondald had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach. Without a doubt, the coven's attack on Yorin involved a ritual. Why hire locals, though? Seems like an unnecessary risk. And how does the Breton figure in? No reason not to. Head there while I circle around from the other direction in case they're already on the move. Just be careful. I'd rather not lose. Give your sentry my best, and tell him I owe him. Across the city. Alright. One fucking bird in the grave. I'll build a fork.
Boy, yes. What can I? I have more than I need, so I'll just be sorry. Vampire. That was the Breton. Over here, partner. Oh. All I found were these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Anyway, did you find the lodge? Kilcraith? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? Damn, we're running out of time. I'll head back Delish. to Solitude yeah. and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kilcreath Temple and alert Meridia's priests. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. You'll be going up against the Coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means. But... I shot yeah. now. Disaster has befallen Kilcreath Temple. Don't be alarmed. I mean you no harm. But there are Harrow fiends swarming around. I'm sorry. But you're too late. An unnatural storm struck the temple and now the entire area is overrun by them. Harrow fiends are feral vampires. A byproduct of the unnatural Harrow storm. As for me, I am Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. I came here on the trail of remains stolen from a mass grave in Bankarai. Mm -hmm. They were shipped to solitude in ancient urns. Yes, I've run into the coven as well. The urns and the stolen remains play a part in a ritual to summon the storms. If you're willing, I could use your assistance. I need to finish my investigation of the site to see what else I can learn. I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the... The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrow storm on the temple. It struck without warning and evaporated. That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. It's magical in nature. House Ravenwatch is one of the noble houses of Rivenspire. Our liege, Count Verandus, has dedicated us to the cause of peaceful coexistence... Oh, that too. True. But I've seen evidence of a vampire, an army that consisted of vampires and werewolves, led by... Is it that obvious? But have no fear. As a member of House Ravenwatch, I am much more than just... Right. No, I like Gwen just before. She's part of that, guys. Priest of Meridia. Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple. Vampire bear, that's fucked. Take Meridia, the priests and pilgrims of Kiltrick Temple. We need a state temple. She's the ranking priest. The living take precedence. We should search for survivors while investigating the pikes.
Another pilgrim seeking shelter from a storm? Even in our darkest hour, Meridia provides a light. We were on our way to see High Priest Varkor when the storm hit. I've never seen such power. It raged like a thing alive. I gathered who I could, but the others are still out there. Start at the stables to the northwest. I saw Acolyte Yolt, Priest Irena, and Rolegmoth the Pilgrim seek shelter there. If you find them, send them back here. Look for Yolt, Direna, and Rolegmoth at the stables. Then meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge. I will head there after I finish caring for these injured souls. Meridius light shine upon you, good friend. Kilcreep Temple provides a safe haven for the priests and pilgrims of Meridia. No, that all we were on our way to groans. Shrieks. Hey, now that I remember correctly, Meridia is a good good danger. Residue. That should prove useful. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Mm. Interesting. A house? Can you feel the lingering energy? That's Daedric, if I'm not mistaken. These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrowstorm. Now they're just ordinary sticks, but even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant role as focal points for the storm ritual. The prepared pikes are depleted as the ritual runs its course, but I sensed lingering energy, including a Daedric taint. And we found an intriguing residue. 
It's the remains of an alchemical poultice that was spread over the pikes. Smells like rotting fungus, doesn't it? With a little study, I should be able to identify each ingredient. One other thing I want to check first. I noticed the pilgrims leading a cart away from the temple right before the storm hit. Coven members could have... That's just a normal bear. Strange. They're alive but unresponsive. Check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items. Yep. Did you find anything of interest in the crate? I can't believe anyone knowing the involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm. Perhaps the pilgrims were tricked into transporting the crate. Or maybe it was slipped into their cart. Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. The temple was clearly at the center of the storm. Stick cage. These are temple priests and pilgrims. It seems the storm killed them. Need to perform more tests. But from what we've seen, I believe the storm affects mortals in three distinct ways. It kills them, transforms them into harrow fiends, or leaves them mindless. I suppose I'd say it harrowed those poor pilgrims. I want to learn more about the ritual and how it produces the harrow storms. And I need to confirm my theories about the storm's effects. I'll start by examining the residue from the witch pike to identify the components used to power the ritual. I... My alchemical equipment. It's extremely fragile, so I left it in my pack. I hid it among a copse of trees once I saw all the vampires and herophines. Once I... That's close enough, Leech. Wait, wait! I'm not part of the coven! 
Looks like I made it back just in time. This place is crawling with vampires, and that one was about to make... House Ravenwatch. I've heard of them, but he's a long way from Rivenspire. Well, if you're willing to trust a vampire, I suppose I can too. I spotted a... On the cliff overlooking the temple. Calls herself Sister Embrit. I was going to rush her, but I wanted to make sure you hadn't run afoul of any of these monsters first. No... Perhaps I could question the witch before you introduce her to your impressive axe blade? Honestly, I'm getting pretty tired. Um, I've been streaming for 10 hours now. I feel like I'm going to call it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to check out the Twitch stream live, link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wildos96. When I check out the YouTube channel, um, links to all my socials are in the bio of both Twitch and YouTube. All socials. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I should be back on tomorrow sometime. Uh, sometime, hopefully during the day, but most likely during uh, tomorrow night. But yeah. Until next time, see you later.